Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good, good, good. Preloaders, VI preloaders, welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me. And you notice by now, or at least you should. For those of you that are here for the first time, welcome to you as well. My name's Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant. And the name of this wonderful channel is Be the Boss of Your Motorcycle. And that's what we're out here to do today, guys. This is practice session number 58. I'm out here in Asheboro, North Carolina. I'm at Cox's Harley Davidson of Asheboro. And they have been gracious enough to allow us to use a portion of their range to do a practice session. Now, originally we were supposed to have the whole, um, the whole range and, um, but you know, stuff happens. So they're having an event here. And so now we have a smaller portion, but you know what, we're going to make it work. So I had to kind of condense everything. Um, I don't think I had to eliminate anything, but I, you know, I only have about eight people here today, so it's, it's not going to be a big deal, but what do I always tell you guys? Spend more time being thankful for the things that you have and less time complaining about the things that you don't. So, I'm not complaining at all, guys. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna have fun. I still have exercises one through nine out here today, and I have the bonus, right? I was able to squeeze it all in here. I'm proud of myself about that. Um, and I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun. I wanna thank uh, Cox's Holly Davidson. Um, I wanna thank Trey, that's the guy who I was in contact with leading up to this. Trey is the manager for the Riding Academy, so thank you, Trey. Um, and I'm looking forward to possibly coming back here and doing more stuff, all right? So if you missed this practice session and you're in this area or it's close to you, just keep an eye out for Ashboro, North Carolina, Cox's Holly Davidson, because I'm probably definitely going to be coming back here. Probably, definitely. How's that for an oxymoron? <laughs> all right, guys, don't forget, coming up, not too far from today's date, and definitely it's going to be closer once this video comes out, but November 12th is the two-year anniversary of my YouTube channel and I'm going to be celebrating hopefully with you guys. Right now I already have a good amount of people that are coming out. It's going to be a group ride and a luncheon. Okay, so for the group ride, if you want to come, you can just show up. The information is on the screen. But if you want to come to the luncheon and eat, like if you want to come to the luncheon and just hang out and participate in the, the uh, raffles and stuff like that and, you know, fellowship, that's fine. But if you want to eat, you have to be reserve right you have to rsvp get a reservation because clearly if i'm feeding you i need to know how many people i'm feeding all right um and i'm gonna have a cutoff with that too because once the order is in which is a week before which is pretty much what's coming up um so again if pack a lunch if you're not gonna uh uh participate in the eating portion of the luncheon but clearly if you're gonna be there i'll be happy to have you all right guys so it is a brisk 52 degrees here all right I'm leaving Pula and coming to North Carolina, it's a little cooler, but listen, it's not raining. It's supposed to be cloudy today, so I don't have to worry about my camera cutting off because of heat. So I'm excited about all of that, guys. Anyway, you guys know how we do it. Once the preloaders and VI preloaders get here, we're going to talk to them, find out who they are, what they ride, how long they've been riding, more importantly, how long they've been practicing slow speed riding, and how they rate themselves on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best and slow speed motorcycle operation, all right? The numbers for them, remember that, no wrong number. Very humbling out here. Some people's numbers stay the same, some people's go higher, sometimes they drop it. Either way, it's all about learning, getting better out here. All right, let's do it. All right, what's your name? Ricky Young. Ricky, where are you from? Uh, Lake Wiley, South Carolina. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Um, about eight years altogether. You said you're from South Carolina? Mm -hmm. How long was that ride here? Uh, about two hours. Okay, okay, chilly? Well, I came up last night, so it was oh, too bad. there we go. Smart. Hold up. You staying at the Holiday Inn? Yeah. I saw your bike. Okay, I'm staying at the same hotel. <laughs> okay. Um, how long have you been riding? I'm sorry. Uh, eight years. 
Um, what are you riding today? Uh, street Glide. How long have you been? What year is it? 16. How long have you been riding that bike? Uh, two and a half years. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Um, about <laughs> six months. Okay, good. Look, six months is awesome. Um, and if you had to rate yourself one to ten, ten being the best, slow speed, what are you giving yourself? Three or four. Okay, that's good. All right, pleasure to meet you, man. All right, what's your name? Jay Donovan. Jay, where are you from? Smithfield, North Carolina. How long have you been riding a motorcycle, Jay? I just bought this bike, mm -hmm. so in May. Got hurt the next day. Okay. Didn't ride it for two months, mm -hmm. so three months now. You've been and two, okay. back when I was in the service, I had a motorcycles. Thank you for your so, service. What branch? You're welcome. Air Force. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. Now, you said you got hurt. Was it motorcycle related? No. Okay, good. Fell out of my truck. Okay, good, good. Well, not good that you fell out the truck, but yeah. good that it's not motorcycle related. What motorcycle do you have? A uh, Road King. Ah, what year? 22. Okay. And police, police edition. Police edition. Beautiful. Um, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Uh, about three months now. So the whole time you've been riding pretty much? As much as I can, yes. That's what I love to hear. And if you had to rate yourself one to ten, ten being the best slow one. speed? One. One. Okay. One. All right, brother. Thank you. Good to meet you. All right, Dave, what's your name? David. <laughs> Where are you from, Dave? In Bassett, Virginia. Dave, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? About 35 years. Beautiful. What kind of motorcycle are you riding today? Today I'm riding a 14 Street Glide. Beautiful, beautiful. How long you had that Street Glide? That one got it back in 2015. Okay. How long have you been slow speed practicing? Um, that um, I tried practice about every chance to get out, but mm -hmm. here the last month or so, mm -hmm. been doing more dedicated practicing. Good, good. And if you had to rate yourself one to ten, ten being the best, slow speed. How far can we go into like the point zero zero? People have gone into the negatives. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, I'll go with about two today. Okay, two. Okay, very good. What's your name, bud? Stacy King. Stacy, where are you from? Durham, North Carolina. Stacy, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? Uh, officially for about 18 months. Okay. What bit. are you riding today? A 2008 Yamaha Stratoliner. How long have you had that motorcycle? Same amount of time. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Whenever I can. I don't have a regular practice routine. Okay, okay. But, um, you know. And you don't need to have a regular practice. Well... I'm going to say you don't need to have a regular practice, scene, practice routine as it pertains to setting up cones. But every time you get on your bike, you can have something regular. I don't know how yes. your situation is. Right turn, left turn, you know, whatever. Yep. So you could. Absolutely. Every One time. to ten, ten being the best, slow speed. What would you give yourself? I'm hoping I'm in the two, two and a half range. Okay. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, brother. <laughs> Peter, what's your name? Peter Rivera. Peter, where are you from? Uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. Pete, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? About a year and some change. What are you riding today? I have your 06 Fat Boy, Harley. Ah, oh, is that what? Oh, 06 Fat Boy. Yeah, that's an old one. Oh, analog. Ah. Very little computer on here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? I took a one course uh, a couple months back, mm -hmm. um, but I haven't practiced it as much as I should okay. have. Now. Okay, good, yeah, good. But I did take a slow speed course from another. Okay, good. And on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, what would you give yourself slow speed? Uh, I'm going to give myself a 6 or a 5. Okay, I'm that's excellent. To, I'm not I'm not there yet, but... You're yeah. pretty much there. 6 <laughs> or 5 is good. Right. All right, brother. Good to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you, too. What's your name, Pete? Pete Shaw. <laughs> Where are you from, Pete? Uh, Thomasville, North Carolina. Pete, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? About 12 years. What are you riding today? Uh, 21 Ultra Limited. Oh, and it's a beautiful, beautiful bike. Shout out to the bride for authorizing it. Um, your bride. I'm not talking about mine. <laughs> um, Absolutely. Wonderful woman. Yes. And I love to hear that. Love to hear that. I mean, I, all right, don't get me started, man. Uh, <laughs> how long have you been practicing slow speed? Uh, a little over two years, but more serious once I found your channel. Beautiful. And if you had to give yourself a rating one to ten slow speed, what would you give yourself? A three. Okay. Pleasure to meet you, Pete. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Uh, he took everything off now. <laughs> What's your name? Derry Holmes. Derry. All right, guys, this guy had a jacket on the whole time he was here. It's a little chilly out here, but for this, he wants you to see the gold wings representing. Gold wings. And I wanted him to know, I don't give a crap what you're riding. You guys know I know. You guys know I say that all the time. All I care about is that you know how to ride it so that you can really enjoy it and be safe. Where are you from? Greensboro, North Carolina. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? A uh, year and a half. What are you riding today? Uh, 2002 Gold Wing GL 1800. And he was the first one here today. It was still dark out when he came, and it was it's lit up nicely too. It looks good oh, yeah. at night. Oh yeah, it looks good. Um, and he looks good on it. 
How long have you been practicing slow speed? Uh, about three three months. About okay, three good. Months. And if you had to give yourself a rating, one to ten, slow speed, what would that be? On my best day, two. On my okay. best day, two. Good and days and bad days. I heard through the grapevine that you're getting a Holly. I got to check with the boys. Yeah, check with the boys. <laughs> All right, pleasure to meet you, man. Likewise. All right. Before I ask you your name, what practice session were you in? 49. I love it when they remember the number they were in. D, what's your name? Uh, no change, D. <laughs> D, where are you from? Cary, North Carolina. Okay, and D, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? Uh, about 10 years. Uh, what are you riding today? Uh, 99 Kawasaki Vulcan Nomad. And you just got another bike, right? I got, got, got quite a few. Oh, you got quite a few, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? About two and a half a year now. Yeah, and guys, it's going to show. You'll see. He's good. If you've seen practice session number 49, you already know, but if you have to give yourself a rating, 1 to 10, 10 being the best, slow speed? So I think by the end of uh, session 49, I rated myself at 5. So I will start from 5 and uh, maybe adjust accordingly in the end of uh, today. Okay, he's sandbagging. I'm telling you right now. He's not even close to a 5. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again, brother. Yeah. Sandbagging. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to do 1 through 9 and a bonus. Let's do it. All right, guys, welcome. Welcome to practice session number... Wow. Well, I put it on a bunch of things anyway, so you guys got some, you got some cheat notes, but that's good. All right, I'm happy to see you all here. Now, it's going to get, it's actually going to get warmer here, so we'll, we'll start stripping off clothes. Doug, you put the jacket back on. See? I knew it. He did it just for the, he wanted you to see Gold Wing. He wanted you to see Gold Wing. Okay. All right, the goal here today, now I usually ask you guys individually, but why are you guys here today? Why are you here today, D? Uh, to retest myself and uh, meet new friends. Nice. Partially the same, work on consistency for what I'm comfortable with and expand my expand my envelope. Okay. And, uh, Pete? I want to be the boss of my mother's home. Beautiful. Yeah. Confidence and consistency, work on that. Confidence and consistency. We're going to get back to that, good. So I need to get better. Need to get better. Need to get more confident. Same. Need same, to need practice. to get better, practice. Being the boss of my motorcycle, I'm becoming more proficient. Being the boss and being more proficient? Be the boss. All right. So, now Pete was the first one to say it. Be the boss of your motorcycle is really the, it covers everything all of you said, right? But we know we have three C's in Preloader Nation. We have confidence. That's what we want. Control and consistency. Those three things are so important, so important. So the consistency is practicing. If you practice once a month, that's not consistent enough, right? This is a very... Very perishable skill. It really is. How you doing, sir? Oh, how are you? you hanging out with us? Oh, well, you don't even need that chair. Look, I brought plenty. So it's up to you. Which, which, whatever's most comfortable, that's what I want you to sit in. Okay. Welcome. Um, so, yeah, three C's. Control is key. So that's why a lot of exercises that you're going to be doing out here today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to always emphasize you being in control. So, yes, I'm happy if you can make the turn. But if after you make the turn, you're flying out of control, that's no good. So we're going to cover that. Consistency, I already talked about practice. So practicing, I was just talking to Peter about this. Was it Peter? Was I talking to you about it? Or was it someone else? Anyway, I, I know they said I, they, don't, they don't have something set up regularly. Now, if you ride your motorcycle regularly, you got something set up regularly. Practice is a state of mind. You don't need cones. So when you leave your house, if you just say to yourself, okay, when I pull out of my driveway, um... Now I'm, at, I'm in the street. My back wheel's against the curb. So now I need to make either a right turn or a left turn. If you know you struggle with right turns or left turns, that's your opportunity to practice every time you ride. And when you make that turn and you feel shaky, if you feel shaky, if you're all the way out here, and then two weeks from there, you feel a little bit better, and now you're moving in. See, that's progress. All right? So at the end of the day today, guys, I want you to realize that your rating number might go down because you might feel like I didn't do everything I wanted. I didn't do everything the way I wanted to do it. But even if you leave here feeling like that, but you have a better understanding of what to do, what to practice, that's progress. All right. And that's what we want. Progress. This is all about building your confidence up. So there's no pressure out here. Anything you don't want to do, you don't have to do. All right. Now, if I sometimes I see something in you, you don't see. I might tell you, listen, try this or try it this way. Try that way. We all learn differently. OK, now I say people do come out on my practice sessions. They might do one through three and then say, all right, I'm not going to do anything else. 
And as we move forward, they stay back and practice one through three. But that's in Pula where the VIP loaders practice for free. I haven't had one person that paid say, I'm actually, that's not true. That's not true. Because at the end of the day, if you pay, you're getting what you're getting. And if that's all you, you, you can get, for, you know, you don't want to go past what you're ready for. I don't, we're not trying to make a, your confidence take a shot. All right? So again, no pressure out here. There's no such thing as a stupid question. So if you have a question, ask it. Even if you think you know the answer, ask it anyway. Because somebody around the globe, because people are watching this all around the globe, they have the same question. Any questions on any of that? All right. Um, the first thing we're going to be doing, guys, but before I even, actually, before I even get to that, uh, I want you guys, and you're going to be hearing the same things all the time, guys, over and over. And the reason for that is because this is not rocket science. If you dedicate yourself to this um, and you practice it, yes, it's going to start sounding like, oh, this guy, but people that are still learning, they need to hear it over and over, right? So no matter who you watch, no matter who you listen to, you're going to hear throttle, clutch, it's not a 747, right? It's not that complicated. Throttle, clutch, rear brake, head and eyes, right? All of those things are important. What of all of those things are most important? No, I'll come to you last. <laughs> to you. Rephrase. Let me rephrase the question. What out of those things are most important as it pertains to this motorcycle staying up? Oh, power to the rear. Everybody agree with that? Yeah. Beautiful. So we already know that that's the, so that encompasses clutch throttle. So that's why I had to rephrase it because it was going to be everybody's right, which I don't have a problem with. So I want us to concentrate today on keeping power to the rear wheel. And the way I want you to concentrate on that is listen to your engines. Now, it doesn't matter how loud your exhaust is. The louder it is, it's easier. But I do recognize that sometimes when people are really concentrating, we can all hear that their throttle is way too high. They don't hear it, right? So if I'm saying your throttle's too low, I'm not telling you to go fast. I'm just telling you to bring your RPMs up and it should be steady, right? Now this gold wing is probably, rephrase. Yeah, it might be the quietest motorcycle out here. Is it quieter than yours? Yeah. Yeah. So, but it still has a, a distinct sound. It's like, mm, so you can still hear it. Now, there was one time I had a practice session, actually it was Dave on the straddle liner. He, was, he kept dropping his bike because the Harley motorcycles, he couldn't hear his RPMs. So, and I, I can relate to that. One time I had my music blasting, it wasn't on this bike. And I felt uncomfortable because I couldn't hear it because that's what I focus on. I don't focus on my head and eyes because it's not going to drop if I don't turn my head. I don't focus on my handlebar, I focus on that throttle. So that's what I want you guys to do today. Just listen to it, all right? Not too high, not too low. Elevate it, all right? Okay. And I want you guys to follow the first five steps all day today. Even if you don't need to do it, do it anyway, right? Because we're in a learning environment today. So we're going to do stuff in a learning environment way, meaning we're trying to build muscle memory. And yes, it's five steps. But once it gets into your muscle memory, you just do it. There's no more steps. Okay. Uh, Pete, what's step number one? What's always step number one? Anytime you get on your motorcycle before you move it. That's right. Make sure the motorcycle's in first gear. Right? Step number two. Step number two. Step number two. Yes. Cover the rear brake. Why are we covering the rear brake? We're covering the rear brake because everything we do today, I'm sorry, I should have led with this. I want you to take all your egos, throw them in the bushes. All right? We can pick them up when we leave. We're here to learn. All right? We're here to have fun. Nobody's going to judge you or anything like that. Dropping the motorcycle is par for the course. The sun is coming out earlier than I thought. I'm going to have to go get my shades. So, when I say we be, we're going to be ballet dancers out here today, all right? No egos. Meaning we do everything subtle on the motorcycle with fluidity and grace. That's how we operate the motorcycle. Now, if you're riding at speed and something happens herky-jerky, no big deal. If you're riding to it with your wife at 50 miles per hour and she kind of shifts, not a big deal. At eight miles an hour, oh, that's going to be a big deal. So with that being said, anything you input into the motorcycle at that speed, if it's abrupt, you're going to feel it. And it's, you're not going to like the way it feels. So what I mean by that is if you're already covering your rear brake. Now covering it doesn't mean you're levitating your foot off of it. Because then this muscle is going to be burning. You can rest your foot on it. 
Can you rest your foot on the gold wing without the brake being applied? It'll let it come. It won't have, it won't apply okay, good, much. good. Same thing with the Harley. You can rest your foot on the Harley brake and it's not going to apply the brake. But when you need to use it, you're already there. If your foot's on the footboard and you need it, you're going to stab, you're going to go like this and the bike's going to, you know. So that's why we cover the rear brake. Also, a lot of the stuff that we're doing out here, you're actually going to be dragging your rear brake. Now, dragging your rear brake means you're just putting a little bit of pressure on it, all right? We all know this is a gyroscopic machine. Power to the rear wheel keeps it up. Too much power is not going to be good for you if you're going too fast. Of course, the clutch is going to have a good part in that, but sometimes it's the clutch and the rear brake. So again, guys, there's a million ways to do everything. Part of being the boss of the motorcycle is you need to know what to do based on what you feel and what you see on the motorcycle. So sometimes I can pull the clutch in and that's all I need to do to slow me down to do what I'm doing. But if that's not slowing me down fast enough, I need to apply some rear brake too, right? So anytime I'm doing anything like a tight U-turn, I'm dragging my rear brake the whole time, right? And also keep this in mind, um, you don't absolutely need your rear brake to do everything, but it definitely is gonna help you. And in my motor school, nobody ever said, let's do this without the rear brake. So I want you to know that there's always gonna be people out there that wanna try to tear you down and make you feel less than, and usually it's some kind of envy going on. That's where the arrogance came from. When I first started doing this, and people said, I love this channel because there's no arrogance, I didn't know what they were talking about. Then I started looking and I said, ah, now I see it. So if you make an 18-foot U-turn, all you're gonna hear from me is outstanding. If you make a 24-foot U-turn, all you're gonna hear from me is outstanding. I'm not gonna say, oh, but can you do it without your brakes? Can you do it left? Can you do it with one hand? You know, this is not a competition, right? And at the end of the day, if you can do it, I don't care how you do it, you go to any Harley dealership or motorcycle gathering and do it. And it may as well be like you're doing a, a wheelie because everybody's going to go, whoa. You know, and the whole notion of, wow, he rides like that. He must be a motor officer. Again, that's something to, it's like a, 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 it's a, a deflection. So now I can justify not knowing how to really ride my motorcycle. So I'll say that's only for special kind of riders. Well, that's what we're here for today, right? If, we, if they want to call us special, we'll be special. Right, but this special number needs to go a lot higher than it is. All right, so we got, see how, how quick I can get off? We got, make sure the motorcycle's in first gear, cover the rear brake, and we know why we're covering the rear brake. Step number three. Yes. <laughs> Preload your throttle and keep it loaded. And keep it loaded is the most important part because that's the part people forget about. Preload and keep it loaded. Guys, I'm promising you, if you follow these same five steps, you're not going to have any issues out here. Well, I, see, I see issues when people stop following them. Um, preload and keep it loaded. Everybody knows what preload means? Okay, good. Perfect. But for those of you that don't know what preload means, preload is the throttle. You're preloading the throttle, listening to that sound, and trying to keep that sound the way it is. And when you're doing the exercise, whatever that exercise is, that whole time you're in that exercise, you're keeping it loaded. So now you don't have to worry about the power. It's already there. Once you're, What's step number four? That slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. That's step number four. So once you do that, if you do it slowly, the motorcycle is going to start to move slowly. If you do it abruptly, the motorcycle is going to pop. Right. So we slowly release it. Right. And once you slowly release the motorcycle into the friction zone, what's step number five? As soon as the motorcycle starts to move, pick up your left foot because that's the only foot down. Why? Because the right foot's covering the rear brake. All right. Now, keep in mind, when you come to a stop um, and you put your left foot down, once the motorcycle stopped, I have to say this, yes, you can put your right foot down too, all right? Again, that's a motor officer thing. When we're stopped, we want to all look uniform so everybody has one foot down. But once you're stopped, you can put both feet down. You can hold the front brake so the motorcycle doesn't move if you'd like, but we don't go into neutral, all right? Somebody asked me, hey, I noticed you parked your bike. How come it's not in neutral? Why would it be in neutral? Like, I don't ever put my motorcycle in neutral when I'm parking. I'm not going to say I don't ever do it when I stop, but, I, you know, everything depends. So that word, that word never, I don't like to use it a lot, right? Because everything depends. Any questions? All right. First exercise we're going to do, guys, we're going to be using these cones. That's going to be the warm-up exercise. Short starts and stops. Has everybody watched my video on how to bring your motorcycle to a stop? Controlled and easy. Everyone? Yeah, I can't do it. 
<laughs> have you, I always got that little shake right at the end. Have you watched the video? Uh, yes, I have. Okay. So, I'm glad you said that. So, Pete said he always gets that little shake at the end. So, when you get the shake, do you feel like, uh oh? Uh oh. No, I, I, I have my foot on, on the brake, I have brake and just the rear brake. Uh huh. Because by then I'm already going, so I don't need the front brake. Uh huh. So, and then, you know, just want to get ready to get the little shake and then I put the foot down. What's then, the little shake? What do you mean? Oh, you feel like it, the, the bike, bike feels unsteady. Yeah, I go like this. The yeah. bike feels unsteady. That's an uh-oh moment. Yeah. And when you feel uh-oh, what's the answer? Pete, what's the answer? Go back into the friction zone. Exactly. And I'm glad you said that. So Pete said when he feels uh-oh, put my foot down. And that's what trust and believe is going to show us. That That's not the answer because that's how we get hurt. So I forgot to tell you that, guys, today. Yeah. Try your best not to put your foot down. Remember, if you feel uh-oh at any time, that's the answer. Why is that the answer? How come I'm not talking about the throttle? Because you're already keeping it loaded. So that's what I mean when I say we follow these five steps, you're going to be fine. So if you're already keeping it loaded, you hear your throttle, you hear it steady, and you feel, uh-oh, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. And that's what this exercise is going to cover. That's why we do it first. We're doing short starts and stops, meaning I want you to start out nice and easy, go to the next cone, stop, nice and easy, left foot down. There's another re example of why we do everything with grace because this is how your foot should come down. Not like this. I mean, now if this does happen, we're, we're on two wheels, it's going to happen sometimes, but it shouldn't be every time you stop. Like every time you stop your motorcycle, it shouldn't be an adventure. Your heart rate's up. I want your RPMs up, not your heart rate, right? <laughs> right? Um, plus, sometimes the gravel or loose, you know, on the ground. So if you lose your footing and the motorcycle's starting to fall, knowing us, we're still trying to catch it, that's how you get hurt. Right? One way you get hurt. But going back into the friction zone, remember, that's always going to stabilize your motorcycle. You're dragging the rear brake at the same time, and that's going to stabilize the motorcycle. So I'm going to ride towards you, and I'm going to come to a smooth stop. Now, sometimes you can squeeze the clutch in, let the motorcycle roll, stop, no problem. But sometimes, like what you just said, the motorcycle is going to start feeling like this because that's the coin rolling across the table. You roll that coin across the table, it's going to roll, it's going to waver, that's what you're feeling, and then it's going to fall. That's your motorcycle without power. So, I'm not saying you always have to get the RPMs up when you're stopping, sometimes you don't. That's what I mean when I say you have to do what needs to be done based on what you feel, right? So, as the motorcycle is coming to a stop, as soon as you feel like it's going to be a uh-oh, as soon as you feel like I need to put my foot down, just go back into the friction zone, which means you're just going to open up your clutch a little bit. Rear brake, you're still on the rear brake. More rear brake than throttle. You don't want to open up a lot. Boom. All right, watch. Come to a stop. As soon as I feel that, you hear the RPMs going up and down because I don't need it. No problem. If I need it, now my RPMs are going up and down because I'm playing with the throttle. But really, all you have to do is keep it loaded and just manipulate the clutch. Come to a smooth stop, left foot down. Okay? And again, I want you to pay close attention to your takeoffs. They should be nice and easy because you're going to the next. I purposely don't give you a lot of room over there because I don't want you to introduce speed to take over. All right, that's the whole purpose of that. I need you to be comfortable. Most motorcycle riders are not comfortable at slow speeds. We already know that. So, oh, I'm, I don't, can't believe I forgot to say this. We're not duck walking today, guys. That's with one foot or two. So what I mean is if you're waiting to go in an exercise, Pete goes and Ricky's next. Ricky's not going to say, I'm only going from here to there. All right, let me duck walk. No, you're going to be doing the same exercise. And you're going to follow the same five steps. Make sure it's in first gear. Cover the rear brake. Preload your throttle. Keep it loaded. Slowly release the clutch. As soon as it starts to move, pick up your foot. That's what you're going to do. All right? Okay. Thank you for reminding me. If you grab the front brake today, it's a 10 push-up penalty. It's voluntary. Um, the word on the street is... The word on the street is you're going to do it for everybody? You got a doctor to know? <laughs> if he doesn't do it, somebody will do it for him. All right, any questions? Outstanding. All right, so we're already doing it. Guys, I don't miss anything. The first five steps. You guys, I see guys taking off both feet on the floor. So you're already not doing it. Remember, first five steps. Make sure the motorcycle's in first gear. Cover the rear brake. If you're covering the rear brake, 
then I already know when you take off, only one foot should be coming off the ground, not two. Okay? Again, we go, we, we're dealing with habit, habit, habit. So, okay, we're good. All right, you ready, D? Good. A little bit slower. Even slower. Take off slower. All right, your throttle's a little low. I see the bike shaking a little bit, so make sure you preload a little bit. All right, good job. You can park. Oh, looking good. All right, next cone. Beautiful. One more. One more. Outstanding. All right, you can park. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Dave, head and eye straight ahead. Next cone. All right, this time when you take off, take off a little bit slower. Good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, good. And right there in that moment when you felt that, just go back into the friction zone. Next cone. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, good, good. Outstanding, one more. Nice, Dave. He was the excellent use of the rear brake right there with him. Very nice. Okay, next cone. All right, you passed the cone. Nice and easy. Next cone, front wheel at the cone. Good, a little bit slower. That's what I'm talking about. One more. Head and eye straight ahead. Good. Excellent. You can park. Good job. All right. Next cone. Head and eye straight ahead. All right. I want you to take off a little slower. All right. You passed this cone. Right to the cone, front wheel to the cone, nice and easy. So you see how abrupt you're taking off? Yeah. Nice and easy. Better. All right, this time when you take off, take off, drag the rear brake at the same time. Drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. Ooh, easy. All right, good job, you can park. All right, you're stopping at the cone, not past it, okay? Right here, head and eye, straight ahead. Nice. I like those boots. Those are nice. All right, do it a little bit slower this time, taking off. Nice and easy. Good, good, good. Excellent, you can park, good job. That was nice. Oh yeah. All right, do that slower. Take them nice and easy. Now you see the difference? Yeah. When you do it fast, nice and straight. As soon as you go slow, all right, next cone. Now how do we deal with that? Friction zone, there we go. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good today, one more. All right, you can park. Good job. All right, come to this cone. 
All right, head and eye straight ahead. All right, take off a little bit slower. All right, a little bit slower. Head and eye straight ahead. There we go. Come to a stop. Good. Give me a little bit more preload. Good. That's what I want to hear. One more. Preload. All right. All right, good job. You can go, Paul. All right, guys, we're all warmed up. Exercise number one, stop and go. Starts and stops. Duh. All right, good job. Actually, very good. So some of you guys, I had to tell you, slow down. And again, the reason I'm, I'm emphasizing that to you is, and Ricky, Ricky was a prime example when he took off quick. And when he did that, his motorcycle was straight as an arrow. And as soon as I told him, all right, I want you to slow down, now he's like this, right? And that's fine. But the purpose of that is I'm preparing you guys. I forgot to tell you this. All of these exercises build on one another. And in my honest opinion, if you can do that warm-up, exercise one, two, three, and four, you could, everything else is going to be easy out here, right? Even if it's not easy today, it's going to be easier, right? Because those are the things people struggle with the most. Now, these first four exercises we're doing, no leaning required. First five exercises, really. No leaning. I don't want you to lean. So the reason I'm telling you to watch that speed as you're taking off is because when we get to the right turns, left turns from a stop, that's not going to work. Right? If you go too fast, you're not going to be able to make the turn. So you need to be comfortable starting out moving slowly, trusting that as long as you have power, you're okay. And anytime something doesn't feel right, friction zone. It's always going to fix it. Always going to fix it. Okay? Also, be gentle, nice and easy with that rear brake. All right? So some of you guys, when you're stopping, remember, you're stopping your motorcycle. Nobody else is. So it's not a surprise. You're not, I'm not, I'm not going to stop. So if you already know this is where I'm stopping, no reason why you should be stopping like this, right? Or going, there's no reason. When you're driving your car, if you want to stop, you don't do that. So it's a foot brake, so it's the same thing. You know you need to stop, you're dragging the rear brake, braking, 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 and when you're finally ready to stop, difference is on the motorcycle, sometimes that's gonna depend on your balance. So when, you end, when, you, when you're in the proper balance where you know, I can put my left foot down, that's when you complete the rear brake. And you're already on it, so it shouldn't have to be like this, right? So unless your, your front suspension is, is worn, there's really no reason for it to be really compressing a lot, right? Especially doing something like that. It's nice and simple, okay? So we got the braking. And, and lastly, preloading. I want you to give me some more preload. I emphasize the preload because it's not a big deal when you're going straight. But if you're in the habit of letting your RPMs be low, you're going to do the same thing in the turn, you're going to do the same thing out in the street, and we don't want that, right? And the only way the bike's going to drop is if there's not enough power. That's it. So make sure yours were going gluck, gluck, gluck. Remember, the EKG machine, we want a flat line, right? We don't want it going like this, because if it's doing like that, too low. And you're riding the Holy. So the Holies will not only, we can't, not only will we hear it, we can feel it. It's already shaking, but it's going to really start shaking if the RPMs are too low. Any questions? All right, now we're going to move on to exercise number one, starts and stops. We just did short starts and stops. Now what we're going to do is, you guys are going to go to the same place you just went. You're going to ride toward me. I want you to go up to second gear. Now, we don't have a lot of space, so this is not about speed. But what this is about is I'm trying to get you accustomed to braking with your front brake and then downshifting and then transitioning from your front brake to your rear brake. Now, when that transition happens, should be 10 miles per hour or less, all right? You don't need to look at your speedometer. You can feel if you're going slow enough because we all understand that the front brake is what stops this motorcycle, right? If you really need to stop, front brake. When I'm over 10 miles per hour, I don't touch my rear brake. The brakes are linked anyway, right? but even if they weren't, I don't touch it because I don't need it. The front brake is all I need. If I'm in a turn, front brake. Now, I'm, I'm glad I brought, brought that up too. Now, D, you race bikes too, right? Yeah. So a lot of people were taught to ride their motorcycle with two fingers on the front brake, right? And I agree with that, but not out here. I've had some people come out here doing that and they're wondering why they're struggling. I said, you're never going to need the front brake out here for what we're doing when you're inside of an exercise. So there's no reason to do this. Not only that, how are you going to do this and keep it loaded? 
And that's what he was like, oh, that's why he was having a problem because he wasn't keeping it loaded. So with that being said, keep it loaded. Any questions? All right. And again, I'm sorry, I didn't finish. Um, you're doing three things. You're downshifting, front brake, transition to the rear brake. Really, that's completing your stop. So even if you do it right before you're going to come to a complete stop, off the front, rear, that's fine. And then you're going to follow the first five steps to take off, nice and smooth. Because I'm always looking at that takeoff too. All right? I'll be standing where I want you to stop. And then after, we should only have to do that once, but we'll see. Any questions? All right. All right, guys, exercise number one. Starts and stops. Beautiful. Outstanding. Very good. I'm watching the rest of them too, making sure they're picking up one foot, not two. Nice, no need to cover it. I know it's a habit. All right, you can park. Good job, you can park. Excellent, you can park. Outstanding, you can park. Nice. That's 10 push ups. <laughs> All right, you can park. See, when he takes off, it's like, look, 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 look. I want that a little higher. All right, we'll talk to them, and then we're going to move on. Exercise number two, the slow ride. I'm happy that when you guys took off, each and every one of you, left foot down, left foot up. Good. Keep that up. All right, we got one push-up violator, one front brake violator, I should say. So, um, listen, and one guy that pulled up with his fingers on the front brake, he didn't pull it, though, so no violation for that. But, again, no reason to keep your finger there because you're going to get... I don't want you to get in the habit and start doing it out here, all right? But I don't think that'll happen anyway because when you know you need to preload, obviously you can't do them both at the same time comfortably, all right? Any questions on that, all right? Believe it or not, guys, when I first started doing this, those two things weren't a part of anything I do because in my mind, I thought everybody knew how to do that. But, oh, no, they do not. Why? Because it covers what most motorcycle riders are uncomfortable doing, going slow, all right? All right. Next, we're going to do the slow ride. Same thing. You're going to go back around to where you were. Now, and uh, Peter, this is going to cover what we were talking about. You're going to ride your motorcycle at my walking pace. I'm going to be walking beside you. Now, however you choose to do that is fine. More than one way to do it. This is one of those exercises where momentum is okay. So if you want to, you're already preloaded. If you want to open your clutch, give yourself some speed, and then pull your clutch all the way in, and just use momentum until you feel, uh-oh, open up the clutch a little bit, close it. When you, if you want to do it like that, that's fine. If you want to preload, keep it loaded, open up the clutch, and then you drag the rear brake the whole time, that's fine too because we're not going to do it for a long distance at all. All right? So either way, I don't care how you do it, but I don't want you riding faster than me. I want you to keep your head and your eyes straight ahead. I meant to tell you that with these. Your head and your eyes are important for turning, yes. But even if you're going straight, it's going to help your balance, right? There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. If you work out, you understand the analogy of doing squats. When you squat, you do your head's like this, not like this, right? A tight rope walker doesn't look down. It's not because they're scared of heights. It's because they balance better looking straight ahead. It's the same thing on your motorcycle, all right? Any questions? All right, guys, exercise number two, slow ride.
All right, ready? Let's do it. Excellent. Good ball. Nice. Ready? Let's do it. Head and eye. Straight ahead. Good job. And when, as they're pulling up, they're practicing what they just did. Nice. Ready? All right, let's do it. Where's the rider? Oh, there he is. Okay, go ahead. Good, good. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Keep it loaded. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. Gold wing baby sneaking up on me. I don't hear it. Was that you with the car horn? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the gold wing horn. All right, you ready? Me, I mean, just me. This bike, I do second gear better because the first. That's fine. Yeah, talking. some bikes are like that. Yeah. Yeah. Talk you ready? You ready? All right, let's do it. Head and eye straight ahead. Good. Look how much straighter you got when you picked up your head and your eyes. Good job. So he said he, his bike is better in second gear. And that's fine. That happens with some bikes. All right. Ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Good. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Keep it loaded. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. All right. Good job. You're good, you're good. Stop. All right, ready? This is actually the slow ride okay. point. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Head and eye, straight ahead. Slow down. Good. Good. Throttle is nice and steady. Head and eye straight ahead. A little bit of rear brake. Good job. Very good. Ready? Let's do it. Good. Head and eye straight ahead. Very good. Nice steady throttle. Excellent. The slow ride wasn't supposed to be until you got to me. Now we're going to do it. <laughs> but listen, you hear your throttle, right? It's like, look, 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 look. Just give me a little bit more preload. Okay? Just, let me see. I like that. Let's do it. Head and eye straight ahead. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down. Slow down. Go back around, do it again. I'm gonna have him do it again. I want him to be comfortable. Right now it's his clutch. He's, he's popping his clutch out a little bit. So, you know, sometimes people's clutches are, are sensitive. Head and eyes, he's looking at my cones. But we're gonna work on that. All right, easy on that rear brake. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Let's preload. Keep it there. Good. Good. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. There we go. Good job. All right, guys. We're going to move on to exercise number three. Trust and believe. Good job, guys. Um, so the reason... Your bike's on. The reason I have Peter do it again is I want him to be comfortable. Right? And he was kind of popping the clutch a little bit. Second time, much better. But also with RPMs, 
I like that motorcycle because, man, you can hear when those RPMs are too low. It's like, cluck, 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 cluck. So I want you all to pay attention to that same thing. Um, now, when we first, when you guys were first pulling up, D made a turn and almost dropped the bike. What happened there, D? Uh, I stopped with handlebars turned a little. There we go. Everybody hear what he said? He stopped with his handlebars turned. Why did your bike drop? Exactly. So I'm going to take responsibility for that. Not for you, D, because you know better. But I didn't mention that, and I meant to. Do not stop with your handlebars turned today. Anybody, everybody see the video I did on that? And if you didn't, go, go check that video out, because I took my girl Angel out and purposely let my friend walk by and grab that front brake and dropped it. But even if you don't grab the front brake and the handlebars are turned, it's still going to make, it's going to want to fall. Right? It's a lot of weight. All right? So keep that in mind. Any questions about any of that? All right, good. I'm about to get out of this hoodie soon. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> this ain't that kind of channel. He said, uh-oh. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, do you all, we talked about this earlier, but does everyone here really trust and believe that as long as you have sufficient power going to the rear wheel, you're going to be fine? Knowing it and doing it. Yeah. Knowing it and doing it, yes. So Steve's not here. Unfortunately, his motorcycle broke down. But... His answer was the best. He said, I, I, I trust and believe it intellectually, yeah. right? And so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do it, the exercise number three, trust and believe. And to me, this exercise is so important because it really, I think that if once you really get that trust, all this other stuff gets easier because everybody's scared to fall, right? Now, in this exercise, for some reason, if the motorcycle falls, it's, just, it's a tip over like, we, like what just happened. But people are still petrified. So... Five steps to this exercise. There's a rectangle we're working with. Step, what's always step number one? Make sure the bike's in first gear, so that's down here. Step number two? It's going straight across. Step number three? Step number four is a little different, but it still involves the clutch. Now we're going we're gonna to put the clutch right before the, fr the friction zone. Right before it. I don't want you in it. Why do I want you right before it? Because step number five is pick up your left foot. Now, obviously, there's no other feet on the ground. So once you pick up your left foot, the motorcycle's, I don't want it moving. Not a millimeter. Trust and believe. And when you start to feel it fall, open up your clutch. That's the same thing as if you're in a turn. If you go to make a U-turn, you have to lean the motorcycle. So in this case, you're letting gravity take over. Whichever way it's going to go, just open up your hand. Don't pop it open. Unless you need to. If you wait until the motorcycle's like this, yeah, you're probably going to have to throttle a little bit more too. But remember, we're preloaded. Now, what happens in this exercise all the time is as soon as I say, pick up your left foot, forget about the RPMs, right? And I hear it just going down. Mm. Keep it loaded. So important there, especially. Right? Keep it loaded. Any questions? Now, once you pick up your foot and you open up your hand, I want you to bring the motorcycle to a smooth stop. Again, now we're talking about that control thing. Because people used to do this exercise and it was just like, woo! No. I want you to come to a, con a smooth stop. See these two cones right here? That's where we're going to be doing it. And we're going to be facing, hmm, which way should I have you guys go? That way or this way? Actually, you know what? I'll have you come this way. Yeah, I'll have you come this way. Because then we got more room. All right? I'm going to demonstrate it for you quickly. I'm going to demonstrate it right here. I'm not worried about running into you because I'm in control. I'm on that rear brake. Um, oh, lastly, some of you guys, when you were coming to a stop, I think you did it on the Gold Wing. And the Gold Wing is the exception to the rule as far as make sure you're in first gear because his motorcycle at slow speed works better at second gear. Right? Okay. Remember, when we come to a stop, there is no reason for our foot to be down and then down and then down. Because like I said, we know when we're stopping. So your foot comes down when you're ready to stop. That's it. Now, sometimes people have to foot out like this in advance. I got to watch D with that because he races bikes. So sometimes he'll be, you know. But remember, every time our feet are off the floorboards or the footboards, that's when we're susceptible to injury. When we're on there, we're fine. All right? Listen, again, it's like everything else. Learn how to do things the right way, and then you can do whatever the hell you want afterwards. All right? But learning the right way, the, learning right to screw it. All right, uh, <laughs> let me demonstrate it. Enough talking.
first gear. Cover the rear brake. Reload. Yep. Head and eye, straight ahead. Pick up my foot. That's it, and a nice smooth stop. Like, I'm not stopping like this. You know, again, we're not doing anything herky-jerky. Now, if I see the back of your motorcycle moving down while you're sitting still, that's letting me know you're in the friction zone holding the bike with the rear brake. I don't want you in the friction zone, okay? Trust and believe. Any questions? Anybody need to see a demonstration again? Beautiful. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now right there, when I'm coming to a stop, I'm in the friction zone. I'm doing the same thing we did on the slow ride. I'm staying in exercise number two. I'm dragging the rear brake, and I'm going to make sure I straighten out my handlebars before I stop, right? Now, the other thing, which you said earlier about when I slow down, sometimes it feels like this. Yeah, that's how you feel sometimes when you're turning. As long as you keep that power, it's the same thing we just did. Same thing. All right. First gear. Cover the rear brake. Clutch right before the sweet spot. See, I see my motorcycle moving. I want to be right before that. And the reason I want to be right before it is when I pick up my foot, when this motorcycle starts to fall, I don't want to be searching for the friction zone. Because that's what happened. One guy, his bike fell because I, and he, he trusted and he believed, but the problem was he was opening up his clutch. He had a hydraulic clutch, which is all the way out here, and he never found it. So we want to be right before it. So when you need it, boop, you're already there. Boop, right? All right. You like that sound effects? <laughs> boop. Reload, right before the sweet spot. Pick up my foot. Now that time, I purposely pushed it to the right. So guys, when you do this exercise, it happens all the time. If you pick up your foot and immediately put down the other foot, you don't trust and believe, right? Sometimes you could pick up your foot and be sitting there for about three seconds. Sometimes balance works out. Sometimes as soon as you pick up your foot, you're gonna feel it falling. When you feel that, just open up the clutch. Remember, you're covering that rear brake. Come to a smooth stop. Booyah! Any questions? You good, Pete? Tur? Pete Tur? All right, let's do it. All right, D, show them how it's done. Nice, D, you can park. Nice, don't forget, you're coming to a stop. Give me some more preload. Nope, don't move. Good, keep it right there. I got the bike. Trust and believe, baby. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. All right, you know what you're doing? All right. Head and eye straight ahead. Don't move. Remember, I don't want the motorcycle to move an inch. Trust and believe, Dave. Head and eye straight ahead. Look at the camera. Don't move. You're moving. You're moving. Trust and believe. Pick up that foot, let it out, let it out, let it out. Do it again, right there, do it from there. Try it again. Trust and believe, baby. Now I don't want you to pick your foot up as soon as you feel as soon I don't want you to let the clutch out as soon as you pick your foot up. I need you to feel it falling. Yeah. Okay? Pick it up. Trust and believe. Let it out. Trust and believe, baby. You're moving. All right. Good. Let it out. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about.
This thing is like a. This thing is sneaky, man. This thing is sneaky. All right, you know what you're doing? Trust and believe. Trust and believe, baby. Head and eye, straight ahead. Get those RPMs up. Don't move. Don't let it move. Pick up your foot without it moving. Come to a stop. Good. Do it again. Nice. You can park. Good job. All right. You know what we're doing? Yes, sir. All right. Trust and believe, baby. Head and eye, straight ahead. Don't let this motorcycle move an inch. Nope, you're moving. There we go. Good, good. Easy, easy, easy. All right, let's do it again. You can do it from right there. Easy with that clutch. Nice and easy. Good job. You can park. All right, we know what we're doing. You're recording? Yeah, I am, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Trust and believe, trust and believe. All right, get those RPMs up. Keep them right there. Nice, give me another one. Broken clock is right twice a day. No, oh, no, right there, you can do it right there. Hey, you can, all right, yeah, right there. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. All right, we know what we're doing? Okay, head nice straight ahead. Don't let this motorcycle move an inch when you, before you pick up that foot. Preload, good, keep it right there. Woo! Easy, baby. All right, remember, the foot don't come down until we're stopping. Oh, I'm sorry, until we're coming to stop. All right, you know what I mean. All right, do it one more time. Good job, Ricky. You can park. Park behind them. Park behind them. All right. Trust and believe. Make sure your throttle stays steady. All right. I don't want this motorcycle to move an inch. All right. As soon as you pick up your foot, don't pick up your foot and then just open up the clutch. I need you to feel it falling first. Okay. okay? All right. Head nice. Straight ahead. Reload. Good. Keep it right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're in the friction zone. Pull the clutch in. Yeah, see? You can hear it. I don't want you in the friction zone. Right there. Because I see your bike moving down. I don't want that. You're going to pick up your foot. When you feel it starting to fall, open up your clutch. Give me some more preload. Give me some preload. Get off that rear brake. Yeah, see? You're in the friction zone. I don't want you in the friction zone. Get off the rear brake. I'm sorry? No brake. No, no, no. You can use the brake, but I see your motorcycle going like this. So you're in the friction zone and holding the motorcycle with the rear brake. Well, I don't want that. That's not good for your clutch either. So, preload. Keep it right there. Slowly release the clutch. I'm sorry. Pick up your foot. When you feel the motorcycle starting to fall, open up that clutch. Head and eye, straight ahead. Let me get on this side. Pull it. There we go. Keep the clutch in. Pick up that foot. Let it out. Trust and believe, baby. Let it out, let it out. You're holding it with the rear brake. Let it out. Trust and believe. Let it out, open it up, open it up. You're holding it with the rear brake. <laughs> but you did it that time, yeah. Do the same thing. Open it up, open it up. Are you in gear? Yeah, you're in gear. You were in neutral? Oh, that, 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 all right, good. Uh -uh. Good, get out of the friction zone. Pull the clutch in. All right, good. Come to a stop. Good. All right, you can park. Reload, reload, reload. You can leave it right there. All right, exercise number four, right turns, left turns from a stop, guys. So Peter and I are trying to figure out what the hell's going on. 
picking up his foot. He's trusting and believing. The motorcycle's in neutral. So, <laughs> so that's why we can't move. Your bike's on, Peter. So this is why we follow the first five steps. I'm telling you, it's going to take care of all of these things. Um, that exercise to me is so important. Here's another thing. Sometimes, particularly the next exercise we're going to be doing, exercise number four, right turns, left turns from a stop. Sometimes when you're riding your motorcycle, you're doing trust and believe, and you don't even realize you're doing it, right? Now, I don't want you to do trust and believe at a traffic light, because remember, the first five steps, as soon as the motorcycle starts to move, we're picking up our foot. In this exercise, you're picking up your foot without it moving. It's also important that I don't want you guys to pick up your foot as soon as, I'm sorry, I don't want you guys to open up the clutch as soon as you pick up your foot. I need you to feel falling. That's the only way we're going to reprogram your brain to associate falling with that and not this. All right? So definitely practice that on your own. And really, guys, that's really one of the main purposes of what we're doing out here today. You're not, you're not going to get everything in one day, but it's to show you what you need to work on and then keep working on it. Okay? Any questions regarding that? All right, it's exercise number four, guys. Right turns, left turns from a stop. Highest failure rate of everything out here. I'm not saying that to mess with your head, but it's simply because first things we did, people are not comfortable doing. So keep in mind that when you roll up here, you're doing exercise number two, slow ride. And when you go to turn, you're still doing exercise number two. The only thing different is you're turning the handlebars. Now there's some people that don't like the feeling of turning the handlebars, they don't like the way it feels. So that could be a number of reasons. One reason is the handlebars are probably too wide. So turning the handlebars, if you can't feel the clutch comfortably, not a great thing, right? Secondly, it's just going slow. They don't like the way it feels, but your motorcycle actually is better stabilized with the handlebars turned. If you ever see anybody doing anything slow on the motorcycle, you'll always see the handlebars turned. I'm not gonna see somebody just sitting straight like this. And if you do, it won't be for long, right? Okay, eight steps to this exercise. First step is always make sure it's in first gear. Step number two, cover the rear brake. Step number three, Preload the throttle and keep it loaded. Four, clutch right before the sweet spot. Five, head and eyes. Whichever way you're going, that's the way you want to look. And I want to emphasize something, guys. What comes first, head and eyes or handlebars? Head and eyes. And I'm, head and eyes is going to help me turn better, correct? So that's what's always preached. Look where you want to go. But let's talk about the safety aspect of it. If I'm getting ready to make this turn and I turn my head and my eyes and there's a truck coming, is there going to be a handlebars? No, it's going to be a rear brake. I'm going to stop. So a lot of the times when people get into accidents on their motorcycle, they were in a turn and then they saw something and they didn't know how to handle it. So they grabbed the front brake and the bike went down. A lot of times that could be avoided if they were actually looking before they committed to the turn. All right. So, with that being said, the first time we go through this, guys, I just want you to ride straight through. No leaning. Do this straight up and down. Again, one of these, two of these cones are not like the others because I was having the same problem. People, saddlebags going right over my baby cones. So I got some more mature cones. They still don't like to be stared at. Okay? So, that's just to make sure. Listen, you need to know, just like in your car, when you first started driving your car, a lot of people, the biggest obstacle was judgment. Can I fit through this space? And then after a while, you can look at it in the oops, spit right through it. Same thing with your motorcycle. You're going to be able to look at turns, U-turns and stuff, and already know, I know I could do that based on practice. So when I do this, I stop my motorcycle right in the middle, put my front tire on this white line. That's me. If you're not comfortable doing that yet, you want to stop back here. When we do do it from a stop, that's fine. Or if you want to come back here, this is the furthest I'll allow you to go, okay? And if you're not comfortable in the middle, making a left turn, you want to come over here, just come over here. Because all this is doing is going to show you that you need to practice more. The more you practice, you're going to realize you don't need to be back here, you don't need to be over here. There's plenty of space. Now, when you're going to make this turn, left turn, you got your, um, your left foot's on the ground. When you pick up your left foot, don't do it abruptly. What am I doing to the motorcycle? So already you're throwing off the balance. When you're gonna make a left turn, because your left foot's down, the motorcycle's already kind of leaned a little bit to the left anyway. So 
Again, you're gonna preload your throttle, slowly release the clutch as soon as you feel it starting to move. Pick up that foot. Don't pick it up like this. No, as soon as you feel it, pick it up, trust and believe, head nice. eyes. I know, trust, I know the head and eyes thing feels awkward. Trust me, I know. Just don't worry about it. You'll get used to it, all right? Don't stare at my cones. It's gonna, happens all the time. And some people, head and eyes, look at the cone. Head and eyes, look at, that's where the consistency comes from, comes from with one of the C's. Consistently keep your head and your eyes turned. And don't give me the perverted look either, where your head's turned, but you're looking with your eyeballs at the cone. Like, that's, that's perverted, right? <laughs> Because as men, we all do that. You know, if you walk in, this was years ago, before we were married. There she is. She's, your girl's with you. There she is. So you're just going to do this. You know? <laughs> Don't do that with my cones because you, you, it's still going to make you tend to go in that direction. Okay? Head and eyes. Consistently look where you want to go. First time, straight through. Second time, that's when we're going to come to a stop. Where you want to stop is up to you. And then the last time, I say first time, second time, but it might be different. I might have you do the first one twice. It all depends. The last time you're going to stop, make the turn, and stop. Again, this is the control thing. I don't want you coming here. What happens is people come in here, they go to make this turn, and when they say, uh-oh, they just open up the clutch. Speed is not your friend, right? So everything we're doing out here today, your speed is between 6 and 10 miles per hour, roughly. This exercise... One to three, right? And speed is not your friend here. I don't want you leaning here. So we all know that a lot of the times, like when we get to the U-turn, where I want you to lean, then you got people in there trying to do it straight up, right? And if you try to lean the motorcycle and you're going too slow, what's going to happen? It's going to fall, right? So when I see people lean in here, I automatically know that's because they introduce speed because one goes with the other, right? So keep the motorcycle straight up and down, trust and believe, and keep in the back of your mind, it's the slow ride. Nothing to hit but a cone. So if you have to ride out of the exercise and hit cone, but you don't put your foot down, that's a win as far as I'm concerned. All right, any questions? Yeah, a couple of questions. A couple of questions. When I look at this on video and I see it, and when I even when I practice it, mm -hmm. and I'm coming up here, my mind is thinking if there's a building or something, mm -hmm. and I'm like looking around to see what's around there. Mm -hmm. And even when I make this turn right here, I'm focusing on just this little area right here, but mm -hmm. looking how far down or what down because if there's a building or a car or a vehicle right here, yep. that's what throws me off because I'm like, okay, I got to see what's on the ground first, mm -hmm. make sure there's no potholes or anything else or whatever when I'm making that turn. So when you say head and eyes turning, and I'm coming up on this here and I'm imagining it's a building, mm -hmm. what am I looking for once I get there? What are you looking for before you make How the turn? Far am I, yeah, when I'm looking down, the yes, because I got to check that too, make sure there's no cause anything mm -hmm, coming, mm -hmm. right? So that's why okay. I said it, it throws me off because when I'm coming up, I'm thinking like, okay, I got to make sure I'm checking the ground and all this stuff okay. and where I'm going also. I okay, so basically your question is, what are you focusing on most? When are you yeah. looking at what? Yeah, all right, I'm glad you asked that because I emphasize head and eyes. And then I had a guy pull up. He was, looking, he was looking this way all the way from here. No, I don't want that, right? So it's head and eyes handlebars, meaning you do one, then you do the other. They're like right behind another. Your peripheral vision picks up a lot of stuff. So don't get me wrong. When you're first pulling up, that's when you're in anal analyzation mode. You're already scanning. We're always scanning when we're on the motorcycle for potholes, sand, oil, cars, kids, whatever. Anything that's a hazard, I'm scanning, I'm scanning. Now you're talking about doing it from a stop or are you talking about doing it? Either, either one, yeah, it's easier for the stop. Yeah. So if I'm rolling into this turn, I'm scanning, I'm scanning. Right before I know I'm gonna make the turn, before my front wheel is in the lane of traffic, I'm looking. That's when I'm looking. Once I already know, I scanned it, I see it's okay, I don't need to look back. But see, that's the, that's the thing that people do. People feel more comfortable looking like this right in front of them. Even though they know nothing is there, they still do it. That's why it feels uncomfortable when I say just keep looking. I know it's uncomfortable, but just trust and believe. Okay? Trust and believe it's going to be okay. Nothing to hit out here except a cone. Okay? Any other questions? All right, I'm going to demonstrate all three ways. I got to put this helmet on. All three ways. 
straight through. I'm going to exaggerate. You don't have to go as slow as I'm going. Just don't lean. And then I'm going to do it from a stop. And then I'm going to stop and stop. Exercise number two. Head nice. So guys, we're always practicing, even as we're coming around. Exercise number two, the warm up, the slow ride. That's, that's exercise number two. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. So nothing changes here. So what a lot of people worry about is that first initial takeoff. So somebody says, should I start with my handlebars turn? If you start with your handlebars turn, saddlebag's gonna hit this, right? unless you're all the way up here. So again, three things determine the radius of our turn. How much we lean the motorcycle, we're not leaning. How far we turn our handlebars, this doesn't require a full lock. And our speed, that's the number one contributing factor to failure here. Too much speed straightens out your handlebars, right? So if you go fast, you're gonna go straight. Because the motorcycle is designed to go fast, I'm sorry, it's designed to go straight. That's what it wants to do all the time with power. Now, if I pull my motorcycle right here and start, now I'm gonna have to start with the handlebars turn if I wanna do this without leaning. If I start up here, now I have to start with the handlebars turn and I have to do exercise number three. I have to let the motorcycle fall and then catch it with the clutch. Why am I letting it fall? Because lean is what gives you the full radius of the turning radius on these motorcycles. And I'm gonna have to incorporate that. We're not doing that unless you want to, okay? All right, now from a stop. You have plenty of room, whether you're starting from this line or further back, to go straight a little bit and still make the turn straight up, okay? So again, I'm not setting anything up that's like a rodeo, but I want you to know it looks tight. It's tight for a car, not for a motorcycle. Make sure I'm in first gear, cover the rear brake, reload, clutch, head nice, slowly release the clutch, as soon as it starts to move, I'm picking up this foot. I'm dragging the rear brake. Now, did you see right there? At first, I went to the right. I still got plenty of space. Went to the right, squeeze the clutch in, turn the handlebars back into the friction zone. I'm good. And ideally, this is where you want to be. Ideally, when you do it, to, when you stop here, you want to be in the middle of this lane, ideally. If not the middle, close to the middle. Even if you're all, all the way over here, that's fine. But remember, envision that this is a double yellow line and this tractor trailer is coming in this direction. And one of the tractor trailers is right on this line. We don't want to be on the line. We want to be over here. And the only way you're going to get into the middle, watch your speed, turn your handlebars, and you'll be fine. Any questions? I don't have to do the other one, but any questions? All right, D. Head and eyes, D, head and eyes. Staring right in my cone. No lean, D, no lean. Beautiful. Go wing here. Head and eyes, head and eyes. You're not giving me any head and eyes. Good job, though. Head and eyes, head and eyes. All right, we got to work on the consistency there with the handlebars. All right, no lean, no lean. Head and eyes, head and eyes, head and eyes. Good job. Good, head and eyes, look at my camera, keep looking at it. You're good, you're good. Good, keep it loaded. Good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Head and eyes, keep it loaded. Rear brake, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Not bad, not bad. Straight through, head and eyes, D, look at my camera. Keep looking at it. Good, no lean, no lean. 
There we go. Straight through. Good. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Good, good, good. All right. Slow down. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Casualty. Oh, okay, there it is. Step closer to it with that back foot. There we go. And do it all simultaneous. Yep, we're there. Why did it drop? I think I just let off the preload. You pulled the clutch in. Yeah, That's what happened. In. Now, the last time you made this turn, you did the same thing again. You're turning late. You're not turning until you're like all the way in here. Right. And that's why it's making the turn more extreme. You have plenty of room. Just slow down. Like the last time you went kind of quick and you lean. Next time you come through nice and easy, head and eyes, and you're good to go. My suffering is feel of the preload. No, they're not too thick, but this is why I don't like wearing thick gloves because I, I need to feel the clutch. That's just me though. Yeah. The gloves I do wear are very thin. Head and eyes, up. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. All right. Good, head and eyes, head and eyes. Nice. Good, good, good. Head and eyes, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Nice, worked it out. All right, so already I can see one of the biggest problems is head and eyes. And it's funny, when I say head and eyes, the head's go, right? And even as you're approaching here, not, not you. Actually, no, it was you. <laughs> As you're approaching, you're looking down like this. Keep your head in your eyes, even with the horizon, right? If you look down, it's briefly. You wanna look at a cone, that's fine. There it is, mental note, you're good. Also the consistency. Some of you guys are making the turn like this. Every time you straighten out, you're widening in that turn. Just trust me, just trust and believe. As long as you got power, you're good, okay? Um, and watch your speed, you already watched your speed. The first time you went through, fast and D2. And then at the end, I see a lean. If you're leaning, you're going too fast, okay? All right, we're gonna do it from a stop now. But if you wanna do it going straight through, let me know, and you can go, go straight through. Any questions? Mount up. Head and eyes, D. All right. Head and eyes. Good, good, good. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, head and eyes. Now, in this case, you're looking before you even move. Because we already know nothing's coming. Your, your head and your eyes are looking before you even move. Because that's where you want to go. Look where you want to go, head and eyes. Open the clutch, open the clutch, open the clutch. Throttle out, baby. Yeah, you pulled it in. Good, head and eyes. No, we're not stopping, we're not stopping. But if you do stop, don't stop at the handlebars turn. See, he had to do speed there. We don't need speed, we just need power. Head and eyes. Keep looking that way. Keep it loaded. Easy with that clutch. I think I'm gonna have you try this without the gloves on just to see if that's it's got something to do with it. Head and eyes. Keep looking. There you go, throttle out. Don't put your foot down, good. Yeah, it's you. You're pulling up the whole time. What are you looking at? 
You don't know, right? You're just looking down. <laughs> Head and eyes up. The whole time you're pulling up, you're looking down. Look at my camera and keep looking at it. Don't look away, because that's where you want to go. Preload, good. You're looking down, you're looking down. There we go, you're looking down. No, we're not stopping yet. Ah, right, you're not stopping, you just, you're not stopping over there, I meant to say. All right. Good, keep looking at the camera. All right, start over. <laughs> Because remember, you're all the way over here, so you can start turning way earlier. Yeah, he don't want to turn those handlebars. He doesn't like the way it feels. Now, I just saw you start and both your feet came up. That means you ain't following the steps. Make sure you start with the cover in the rear brake. That's step number two. All right, preload, keep it loaded. Head and eyes, look at my camera and keep looking at it. Don't look down. Slowly release the clutch. Rear brake, head and eyes, rear brake. Too much speed, too much speed. All right, D, head and eyes. Keep looking at my camera. Straight through. Too much speed, D, you're leaning. All right, Mr. Valedictorian. What about all that? I do. Head and eyes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right in the middle. All right. Man, that was scary. That heel was coming real close to this guard. So next time, that heel was coming real close to the guard. Next time you feel that, man, just throttle out. I don't care if you hit the cones. I don't know why I pulled the clutch all the way in. It's an instinct. I know why. All right. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. All right, start over. You ain't gonna make it. Cause you could, once you get that deep into the turn, you're not gonna make it straight up anyway. And you got so deep, you weren't gonna make it even if you lean. All right, ready? I'm ready. I'm <laughs> Are you ready? I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm Good, getting ready. preload, baby. Preload. As soon as he went to move, I saw his RPM go way down. I can't hear it, but I saw it. All right, head and eyes. All right, baby, there we go. All right, head and eyes. That was good though, throttle out the last time. That was good. Turn, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. All right, all right. Still working out with that clutch. All right, head and eyes. Good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake, excellent. All right, head and eyes, keep it loaded. Use that rear brake at the same time. Turn the handlebars and keep them turned. Good, turn the rear brake, rear brake. Too much speed, too much speed. Go ahead, throttle off from there. All right, you introduce too much speed at the end. That's the, when you first start out, you're starting out too fast. Remember, that's why over here, we started out nice and slow. Right. You don't need speed to stay up, you just need power. Right. Head and eyes, make sure you preload it, keep it there. Use that rear brake at the same time. Head and eyes, head and eyes, head and eyes. You're looking at my cones. All right now. All right, now you're coming to a stop. Head nice. Now you see, if you have to break that abruptly, that means you're making that turn way too fast. And that's because you're leaning a little bit. Yeah. Nice and easy, straight up. All right, now you're coming to a stop, Pete. Straighten out, good job. Come to a stop. So nice and easy. Okay, yeah, okay. Head nice. You're good, you're good. Keep it loaded. Good, good, good. Straighten out. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. 
Second gear. I thought we already established second gear was better. All right, you're coming to a stop. Straighten out, straighten out. So you stop it with the handlebars turn. Make sure they're straight. All right. Woo! Easy with that brake. All right, nice and easy. You're taking off a little abrupt. Just take off nice and slow, head nice. Drag that rear brake to control your speed. Turn. And that's because he's starting out too late, so he's using, he's leaning, which means he's introducing speed. Can't come to a stop. All right, looking good. Coming to a stop over here. Head nice, keep it loaded, good, good. I need you to name those three cones because you stared at them the whole time. <laughs> All right, you're a little uncomfortable taking off. Yeah. Nice and, and when you turn, just keep the handlebars turned. Don't turn too late either. Keep it loaded. Use the rear brake to control your speed. And nice. Keep looking. Good, good, good. Slow down. Too much. Too... Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Supposed to stop. All right, you're coming to a stop over here. Okay. Reload. Head and nice. Turn the handlebars. Keep them turned. Reload, reload, reload. Straighten out. Nice. Nice. All right. Straight up, D. Come to a stop. No lean. Head nice. Throttle's too low, D. Throttle's too low. All right, last time, come to a stop. Next turn is going to be a right turn. Head nice, look at my camera. Beautiful. So, the last time you went, I can't hear this damn thing. But as soon as you let, as soon as you let the clutch out to go, I saw that needle go like this. Come down. You got to keep it loaded. That's why it's always going to feel scarier when you don't have enough power because it's gravity's calling. But we're not going to answer that today. So keep it loaded, baby. Keep it loaded. But that was good. Come to a stop again. Next time you come through, it be a right turn. Head and nice. Head and nice. Yeah, too much speed. Picked up speed at the end. Everybody stands nice and easy. Yeah, at the end, you picked up all the speed. That's why you were leaning in here. And then you just pull in the clutch. Okay. All right, make sure you keep those handlebars turned. Watch the speed. You shouldn't be leaning. So you're, you're turning late, too. As soon as you start moving, you can start turning. Okay? All right. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Good. Rear brake. Rear brake. You're good. Trust and believe. Good, good, good. Straighten out. Make sure you straighten out before you stop. All right, coming to a stop. Last time, next time will be a right turn. Okay. Head nice. Keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. All right, coming to a stop. Last time. Head nice. Keep it loaded. Good, good, good. Straighten out. Woo wee! Beautiful. All right, head nice. See you last time, then we'll be making right turns next. Keep it loaded, use that rear brake. Straighten up before you stop. All right, the good thing is even though, listen, it ain't pretty, but you're working it out. And I love to see that. Come to a stop again, next time we'll be making right turns. Keep it loaded, use that rear brake. Nice and gentle. Head nice, head nice. Come to a stop, straighten out. All right, good job.
All right, so I'm gonna say this. A lot of stuff I say, it doesn't matter. If you don't feel it, you don't feel it. We don't need speed, we just need power. And a lot of you guys are taking off right at the gate abruptly. You're already making it harder for yourself because now you have to make a turn. So you're smashing the brake, now the bike's doing that, and you're trying to turn. That's why it all feels, it doesn't feel good. And what I told Peter is, Peter's making the turn, right? You might think my best thing that I like to see is somebody doing it like Pete. Her, it's beautiful, right? It looks nice, but what I really like to see is somebody working through the kinks, right? Because that's how we learn, right? So it's the wrinkled t-shirt theory. T-shirt's designed to cover the top of part of your body. It's wrinkled, it doesn't look great, but it's doing the job. The more you practice, that's the iron. You're gonna iron out that t-shirt, right? So just keep that in mind. Um, head and eyes, that's something to work on. Your speed, now making right turns, maybe some, some of your right turns are better than your left. We'll see. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Head and eyes, handlebars, watch your speed. I want you to keep the motorcycle straight up and down. Trust and believe. Now I, I, I told, tell me your name again. Derry. Derry. I told Derry, I can't hear Derry's damn motorcycle. But right before he was gonna pull off, I saw his RPM needle go like that. And then when it started to fall, he pulled the clutch in. Tell me your name. Jay. Jay, first time he dropped it, that didn't happen the second time, throttle out. If you, and that's what I was trying to tell Jay. He was going, he was doing the walk. Oh, I hate seeing that walk because one wrong step and there's your heel, there's your ankle. Throttle out, open up that clutch, power out. Because remember, when we did exercise number three, make no mistake about it, you can lay these motorcycles on the side and pick it up by throttling it. So don't think that I'm too far, I can't throttle now. Yes, you can. All right? Any questions? There we go. Beautiful. Go all the way around, yeah. Good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good job, good job. Head and eyes, head and eyes. Oh yeah, you like rights better than left, no doubt. That was smooth. Yeah, he doesn't like turning the handlebars. So when he gets in, he doesn't want to turn it, but he's gonna work that out. Good, head nice. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You gotta turn, you gotta turn. Good, keep it loaded. Good. Excellent speed, head nice. Slow down, rear brake, rear brake. Perfect, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go again with the two feet. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Stay at that speed, stay at that speed. Head and eyes. Come on, turn it. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Trust and believe, baby. Good, good. Slow down. Slow down. Head and eyes. Rear brake. Rear brake. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Outstanding. Oh, you again? Yep, 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 yep. Nice, D. Straight through. Head and eyes. Nice. Straight through. Head nice, head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Yeah, you like rice best, man, no doubt. Straight through. Head and nice. Turn the handlebars, turn the handlebars. Trust and believe. Yeah, you're good. Straight through, you were going straight through. Yeah, straight through. Don't lean, no speed, speed. Too much speed. Good, good. Head nice. Slow down, slow down. Nice. Straight through, straight through. Good, head and nice. A little more speed, good, 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 good. All right, see he's turning the handlebars like that. Good, head nice. Very nice. And straight, good. Come to a stop. All right, straight through. Head nice, good. Keep looking. There we go, D. Oh, where's that lean at the end? Come on. All right, straight through. Head nice, look at my camera. 
The bike looks good, Pete, and you look good on it. That's what I'm talking about. Straight through. Head nice. All right. Now, you don't, you're not comfortable at all turning these handlebars. This right side's going to give me a tough time for you. Oh, okay. So just, just turn them. Trust and believe. Nice, easy pressure on that rear brake. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Good. Keep it turned. Too much speed. Too much speed. There we go. Good recovery. Slow down nicely. All right. Easy on that rear brake. Remember, nice and easy. Everything we're doing today. Head and eyes. Straight through. Good. Turn. Turn. Too much speed. Too much speed. He's falling into the turn. All right. Straight through. Head and eyes. Good. All right. Doing good. Head and eyes. Reload. Rear brake. Head and eye. Rear brake. Good, good. Slow down. Too much speed, but I'll take it. But too much speed. You had to lean, and then your braking is abrupt. Just nice and easy, okay? You're good. Straight through. Good, good, good. Nice. Keep going, keep going. We're not stopping. Uh, shut it off. Your right turns are better than your left, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Like, a, you're a natural. But, what I want to talk to you guys about is this. I'm looking at a lot of you guys making this turn, and your bike's going like this. Because your foot's going like this. Remember, yeah, on the rear brake. All you need to do is drag it. There's no, now, and if you do need to apply a little bit because you went too far, that's fine, but it shouldn't be like this. Find the sweet spot and keep it there. So when we're doing this, not from a stop, but when you're approaching, find an appropriate speed and stay at that speed in the whole turn, right? What a lot of you are doing, uh, not you, yeah, what you're doing is, as soon as you get here, speed, and you lean to make the turn, all right? Just stay at that constant speed. You're gonna be fine. Just trust me, trust and believe, right? But remember, we're dragging the rear brake. That's why we're covering it. Nice, easy pressure. It's gonna keep the motorcycle straight up. Easier to make that turn. All right, any questions? We're gonna do it now, but we're gonna do it and stop right here. And when you stop, again, this is about being in control. When you stop, your motorcycle should be facing straight. Not like this, not like this, straight. Make sure you straighten out the handlebars. All right. All right, D, show them how it's done. All right. A little bit of lean there in the, at the end. Head nice, head nice, head nice, head nice. Nice, Pete. Pete wasn't giving me head nice, but you see he kept his RPMs up all the way until he stopped because he had to straighten out. Head nice. Oh my God, beautiful. That's okay, that's good. I'll take it, beautiful. That's because he started out very slow and when he felt his balance going off, that's why he picked up speed, understandable. Good, keep it loaded. Turn the handlebars, good, 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 good. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. Head nice. Too much speed, too much speed. And the only reason you, that was gonna be excellent. You were gonna be right here, but your handlebars are doing that. Okay, good. Come to a stop over here. Preload, head and eyes, head and eyes. All right, we'll try it again.
All right, coming to a stop. Head nice. Look at my camera. Good, good, good. Straighten out. Nice, excellent, just excellent. Do it again. Now, yeah, because right there you you turn and then you then you turn. Yeah. So you turn late. Okay. All right, last time, come to a stop. Head nice. Outstanding, Pete. All right, last time, last time. Head and eyes. Look at my camera, say cheese. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful. Straighten out. Now last time, you were coming through here, you were coming through here really slow. And you're making the turn and you felt the bike move, so you opened up the clutch. That's where that speed came from, but that was fine because you were going so slow and sometimes your clutch might be a little bit sensitive. So, excellent job, man. Tires armor roll too. Good, keep it turned, keep it turned, keep it loaded. Keep it turned, straighten out. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Whoa, easy. <laughs> All right, head and eyes. Too much speed, all right, good, 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 good. Keep it turned. Just not turning enough, he starts out fast. And again, when you start out fast, it puts you under pressure. Because now you have to do something quick. Come to a stop over here, good. Good, good, keep it turned, keep it turned, keep it turned. Straighten out, there we go. All right, keep it loaded. See, you're preloading and then holding the brake. How about this, move your foot back? Yeah, don't put your whole foot on the brake, maybe, you know what I mean? Okay. Head nice. All right, last time. Nice, and you started that turn late, so you had to lean a little bit to make it, so outstanding. All right, that's it, D. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to exercise number five, single serpentine. So D said something interesting to me. He said, I can't believe I still struggle with that. So D can make that turn all day, every day with a little bit of, just a tiny bit of lean, he's fine. But this is why I tell him, even if I see him lean a little bit, I say D, straight up. Because that skill is so important. You know, that's really, as far as I'm concerned, to be the boss of your motorcycle, to be able to ride that motorcycle and make it straight up, right? And it comes in handy, because you there are gonna be places where you you can't introduce that swoop of speed, because it's gonna be dangerous, depending on what's going on. So if you could just do nice and easy, anybody that's gone to Biketoberfest or anything in Daytona, when it's that crowd of people, I ride through that. I'm not walking through that, right? Same thing. Um, but for the most part, that was actually very good, right? Whatever you had problems with, work on it, keeping the handlebars turn. Actually, you had an epiphany at the end because that right turn, the last two you made, beautiful. Because before he was doing this and too much speed. And that's you with the speed too. So we definitely gotta work on the speed and trusting and believing that you don't need speed, you just need power, right? Okay, any questions on that? All right, moving right along, exercise number six. I'm sorry, exercise number five, single serpentine. This exercise, these cones are 15 feet apart, by the way. This exercise I used to think was just fun because I just like to do this. But this is actually very relevant. And if my friend, that two of you already know his name, and I never said his name, but <laughs> had he practiced emergency braking and this, he would have had the presence of mind that even if he couldn't stop in time, which he definitely could have, when he got down to a speed where he could swerve, he would have thought to do it. But when you don't practice and have muscle memory, because remember, we practice for uh-oh, because if you don't have muscle memory built up, when uh-oh happens, you're gonna resort to your instincts. Squeeze and hope for the best, right? Also, practice and increases our odds out there, right? And you're limited to your skill level. If your skill level is zero, your options are zero, right? So, this 
Now I want you to lean. Please give it to me. I don't want you to go fast. That's why I got higher cones. Because this is not the ski slalom. People want to go like this. It's not what this is about. And when you see D go through this, um, and some other people, it looks like he's going fast, but it's the fluidity that's, flu that's fooling you. I want you to dip, dive, swing, sway, and I want your head and your eyes straight ahead. I'm gonna be standing right here behind this camera. You can look at me, you can look at my camera. Look at the bush behind me. Look at Dee's gas can. I don't care what you look at, but don't look, don't, <laughs> don't look down at each cone. It's red too, so it's perfect, right? Same thing. I don't want you doing this straight up. I don't want you going too slow, all right? Now, I want you to lean, but not so fast. So again, we're on that rear brake. You can go through this again with no rear brake, but if you see you're coming up to the next cone too quickly, rear brake, right? Or pull a clutch in, whichever one's gonna work. And I want you to do this wide. So when you start, don't start here. Because this exercise, just like the other ones, if you start wrong, it's gonna catch you. Doesn't mean you can't fix it, right? This exercise is also getting you accustomed to stuff to come. What am I referring to? Transitions. And when we do these transitions, we transition abrupt, not, abrupt, not abruptly, quickly. We don't do it slow, right? And when you guys were coming in here, that's one of the things you were doing, um, Jay. If you start that turn fast, you're automatically putting pressure on yourself to have to do something fast. And that's why it's like, oh, oh. no, nice and easy, okay? All right, I'm gonna demonstrate it for you what I want you to do, and then you're gonna do it how the hell you wanna do it. <laughs> you can stay right there. <laughs> All right, so when you're going through here, this is friction zone valley. I forgot to tell you that. We're always in the friction zone. I like to stay in the friction zone. So I go in and out of the friction zone, so I don't have a clear answer for this. Depends on what I'm feeling. So if I'm at a good speed, I try to just stay there. And that way I can just go like this. Some of our clutches are more sensitive than others. That gold ring, I think, is a little, you know. So, But if you feel that, that's why we're always covering the rear brake. We can correct that. You can pull a clutch in if you need to. Nice and fluid, any questions? All right, D, we're starting from down there. All right, we got D here, exercise number five. Whoa. All right, a little too much fast, a little too much lean, dipping. Nice, D. D is always gonna give me a little bit extra. I appreciate it. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, just missing these cones. Woo! Nice. Let me move this camera back. <laughs> I want to give them room at the end. What do you mean reach across? Right hand on the left grip? Yeah. Left hand on the right grip? Keep your feet crossed. We're not doing that. And you're pushing, uh -huh. pulling with this hand yeah. and stepping at the same time. You got to do it all at the same time. Okay. What happened there? Why did it drop? Looking down at the cone. <laughs> no, that's not why it dropped. The clutch in. There you go. There you go. All right. No harm, no foul. His gold wing is properly protected. He's got guards on it. So, no harm, no foul. All right, he's looking at every cone. Head and eyes, look at me. Look at me. He's looking at every cone. You see his head looking at it as he's passing it. Jay's doing the same thing. His head and his eyes are down. You gotta get your head and your eyes up, that's it. See, they're not starting out wide. Head and eye, straight ahead. All 
right. All right, remember, I want you starting out wide. Don't start right here. Start here. All right? All right, good. Good. Keep it loaded. Lean it, baby. Lean it. Head and eyes. Straight ahead. Slow down. Slow down. There we go. Good. Head and eyes. Straight ahead. Good. Lean it. Lean it. Good. Lean it. Transition. Lean it. Good. Transition. Good, transition. There we go. There we go, nice and wide. <laughs> D looking back to see if he hit a cone. <laughs> nice. Pete was missing cones by millimeters. Excellent. Got yeah, a motorcycle just moving under him. Good job. Stop. Stop. Go back around. Because listen, this is what you're doing. You're coming in. Act like this is the first cone. You're this close to the cone. I need you to be over here because I want you to lean into the turn. Okay? Go around. And just come back in. He's starting right here. I don't want that. You gotta start here because I want you to lean into the turns. Okay? So he's coming back around. I didn't mean to go all the way around. <laughs> A lot of times when our head is buried, I'm going like this. People don't see me because they're riding like this. Start out nice and well. Go down. You're going too fast. There we go. Good. Lean it. Lean it. Good. Better, better. Head and eye, straight ahead. Lean it, lean it. Lean it, transition, lean it. Transition, lean it. There we go. Transition, baby. Good, transition, lean it. That's what you're hitting this. Straight up. Nice, straight ahead. Whoa. Head and eye, straight ahead. Good, dip it. Very nice. Dip it, good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good, head and eye, straight ahead. Start out wide, good. Dip it, transition, head and eye, straight ahead. Good. Very nice. Dip it. Good. Dip it. Very nice. Last time, D. Last time. Last time. And then you can park over there. Good, good. It's coming in too fast, that's why that happened. Good, head and eye, straight ahead. Dip it, transition, dip it. Transition, dip it.
slow down, slow down. Going too fast. Too fast. Good. Too much speed. Jay is a speed demon. I never would have thought it. <laughs> Head and eye, straight ahead, good. Dip it. Good, transition. Transition. Good. Easy, easy. All right, worked it out. Nice. He turned very early on that first cone. That was perfect. That sets him up. That sets him up perfectly for the rest of this. When you turn that, when you turn late in that first one, everything else gets tighter. You're still hugging that first cone. You need to go out wide. Yeah, you're hugging it. There we go. Come on, lean it. You gotta lean. Everything's gonna be tighter now. He ain't making this one. Oh yes, he did. There we go. Work it out, baby. Good. Head and eye, straight ahead. Good. Good. All right, guys. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number six, the infamous U-turn. Talk to them about this for a little bit. All right, guys. I'm telling you, something that seems so simplistic, you know, technique always comes in. Some of you guys were starting uh, hugging that first cone. Or some, where's uh, uh, no, 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 what's your name? Stacy. Stacy. The last time Stacy went, if this is the first cone, he started his turn, he's about that close to it. That's beautiful. Because now, because he made that turn, and he did it from Y, because he started that turn close to that cone, he set up the rest of the way. You make that first turn late, everything else is gonna get tighter. Doesn't make a difference, you can, you can correct it. But starting correct right from the start. And also, transition, transition. If you're doing the single serpentine properly, your handlebars are never straight, right? You're going from one turn to the next. Same thing in the figure eight, same thing in the off, offset double serpentine, eh, not so much in the offset double serpentine. You got some more space, but really not much. Okay, so good job with that. A lot of this stuff also is clutch control. Where's, where's uh, Peter? Yeah, Peter, when you're going through sometimes all of a sudden your bike is... Again, wrinkled t-shirt. I don't care. You Outstanding, right? But remember, lean, lean, lean. That's what we're doing. Any questions? Exercise number six, the infamous U-turn. Anybody here struggle with U-turns? Anybody here struggle with U-turns? You do. I'll definitely get a strike, I'll do that. All right, all right, so everything that we've done up until now is the same. None of the techniques change. What do I mean by that? When you're approaching the U-turn, all right, this is 27 feet wide. If you, some of you guys are gonna to wanna to challenge yourself, this is the 18 foot box. So if you wanna challenge yourself, just try to U-turn here. If you wanna further challenge yourself, you can go past these cones and still try it. At least if you don't make it, you don't have to worry about hitting the cones. All right? You have to watch the video, man. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I said, if you want to challenge yourself, but you don't want to have to worry about hitting these cones, just pass here, and you can try the 18-foot U-turn up there. And if you don't make it, no big deal. But if you want to be in the confines of the box, just don't pass that cone when you make the U-turn. As you're approaching this box, whatever speed you're at, not too slow. Again, you can't go too slow. I also don't want you going too fast. I don't want to see a momentum U-turn in here where you go fast and swoop through the turn. The friction zone should be pulling you through this turn. Okay? You should, it should be pulling you through the turn. I need you to lean the motorcycle. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. Use a little bit of rear brake. Drag it if you need to. If you are going line to line, Right, when you get in here, if you're line to line, that can only mean one of three things. You're going too fast. That's the number one contributing factor. 
You're going too fast. You're not turning your handlebars enough. And I'm here to tell you, or I was probably saying you're not leaning enough. But if you're going the proper speed, you don't have to fully lock your handlebars. You don't have to lean excessively to make a U-turn in this box. And if you're making a U-turn line to line, keep in mind that's 27 feet. I want you to be at some point at 24 feet, if not today, at some point. Because when you get up, first of all, you need to be at that to even pass this, in this class here. You guys are all licensed already. But most country roads are 24 feet wide, right? But most of the turns you make realistically kind of wider than this. So when you come in here, guys, I want you to just make a left U-turn. And then when I tell you to, you're going to stop right here and then make a U-turn. If you're going to do it in 18 foot, fine. If not, just go around. And then I'm going to have you stop, make the U-turn, stop over there. Remember, when you come out of that turn, you shouldn't be facing this way. You shouldn't be facing this way. You should be facing straight. We're in control all the time. All right? Any questions? All right, I'm going to demonstrate it, and then we'll get into it. All right, so this is a good speed. Hey, nice. was in the friction zone, I stayed there the whole U-turn. I didn't have to change anything. This stuff, just nice and smooth. If you're going too slow, that's when you start seeing this. Then you're going to stop. And nice. Last, you're going to stop, make the U-turn, stop. Straight up. Or you could go out. You know, you don't have to be here. Any questions? All right, let's do it. That's D. I already knew what D is going to do before he does it. I like it, man. Good, I got it. Head nice. Good, good, good. Good, head nice, head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Looking at my cones. Good, head nice. Look at my camera. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Lean it, lean it, turn it. Good, head nice, head nice, head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. That's what I'm talking about. I heard his throttle's going down. Good, head nice, lean it, head nice, look at my camera. You're looking down at the ground, good. Nice and smooth, baby. All right, head nice. Look at my camera. Look at my camera. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. You're going too slow. That's why you're straight up. All right, second attempt at the 18 foot. Head nice, baby. Woo! That would be tighter if he was going slower. Give me some more speed, a little bit more, a little bit more. Head and nice. Head and nice. Handlebars. Good, good. Rear brake, rear brake. Turn it, baby. There we go. Slow down. Good. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Turn it. Slow down. Rear brake. Rear brake. All right. See so you. You smashed the rear brake. Is that right? Oh yeah. The whole purpose of me putting on my hand is to help you up. <laughs> so you were coming in too fast, and I said slow down. You slowed down, and you were actually good in the turn. And then that last that book. For some reason, like it's over controlling the back brake. Yeah, but remember, if you keep it loaded, doesn't matter. Right. Even if you do that. Keeping it loaded, 
You'll be fine. Did I pull in the clutch? You definitely. That's the only way it's going to fall. Yeah. Yeah. Only way it's going to fall. Okay. And if you guys didn't notice that, his head hit the ground. That's why I tell you guys, even at slow speeds, you know, you could be hurt. So wear a helmet. Slow down. Good. Head and eyes. Good, good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Woo! A little bit, a little faster, a little faster. Okay, good. Head and eyes. Lean it. Lean it. Rear brake. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. Head and eyes. Look at my camera. Woo! Look at you, man. Look at you. You're good now, right there. That speed's good. Now, now you're going too slow. Too slow. Speed it up. Speed it up. That's too much speed, but that's good. Split the difference, baby. All right, you turn, baby. Nice, D. All right, Pete, show them how it's done. Nice. I forgot to tell him if he slows down. All right, looking good. U turn. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Nice recovery. He's looking down at the cones, too. All right, let's keep everything consistent. Head nine, as soon as this motorcycle starts to move, you get up to a good speed, hold it there. Wherever you are in the friction zone, keep it there. Look at my camera. I'm going to be walking with you while we're doing it. Drag that rear brake. Head and eyes. Look at me. Keep looking at me. Keep looking at me. Look at me. Come on. Come on. You didn't like the way that felt at all. But the drop guards are doing their job. Pull the clutch in again. So we don't have to, I don't have to ask you what happened pulling in the clutch. So, yeah. I'm simply not getting it. But this is new. Exactly. And you 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 already know what's happening. So that's good. We just gotta concentrate on you not it's an instinct. People fly yeah. fight or flight, people pulling like, in there. No, look. Yeah. When you're yelling at me, look, head nod. And I said, look at me, look at me. And, as soon as you looked at me. It's like I'm, I know I was doing it in slow motion. Yeah. It felt like slow motion. That's the beauty of the video. You go back and you watch this. All right, let's do it again. All right, you turn, looking good. Good, rear brake, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good. Pete, I think you've been sandbagging. What do you mean? You're doing these good, man. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> if I bet money, I would have lost. <laughs> All right, you turn. Keep it loaded, that's nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it turned, keep it turned. There we go. Right there, stop. Don't worry, but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Stacy, that's beautiful. Beautiful. He stopped and had a conversation with me and still made that turn. That was, that was beautiful. Nice stop, man. All right, from a stop. We got to get that. We got to split the difference with the speed. You're making the turn, but I want you to be able to make it smooth. And when you get to the top of the turn, I'm sorry, before the top, as soon as you start turning, you slow down. Keep that, spa that same speed, but let the friction zone pull you through. All right, let's do it. Preload. Good, good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Stop over here, D. Beautiful. Right turns next. Coming to a stop. Now, I meant to tell you, 
Those turns are excellent. If you slow down just a millimeter, the turn's gonna get even tighter. Okay. All right? But you're good where you are. See that burst of speed? That burst of speed, but you all you do is, when you got that burst of speed, it straightened you out. All you did was lean more. You said you weren't scared to lean, so that's what I'm talking about, man. Right turns next, right turns next. All right, you turn from a stop. Commit to the turn. There we go, commit, 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 commit. All right. You did this from a stop already, right? Come to a stop. Lean it, lean it, head and eyes, head and eyes. Good job. All right, come to a stop. Good, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Open up that clutch, come to a stop. Come to a stop. <laughs> Pete said, screw you, I ain't stopping. All right, come to a stop over here. Oh, let me tell you what was so impressive about that. You're in the middle of the U-turn having a conversation with me. All right, was I supposed to stop? Oh, that was awesome, man. All right, let's do it. Stop over here. Look how smooth he is. All right, I want you to get those eyes up. The whole time you're looking at these cones, your eyes are down the whole time. Other than that, man, man, it looks beautiful. I think it's this motorcycle. It always looks good on the straddle line. All right, come to a stop. Keep it loaded, good, good, good. Rear brake, rear brake. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Come to a stop. <laughs> keep it loaded, keep it loaded. And listen, we're out here leaning today. I know you, normally when you ride on the street, or the highway, your foot's like that. Yeah. You don't want to do that out here because you're leaning your toe just close to the ground. If it hits, so, yeah. All right. Right turns. All right, D, you're supposed to be going straight coming out. Not this way, straight. All right, good, good. Head and eyes, head and eyes. Nice. Little more speed, little more speed. Okay. Nice, you definitely like those right turns. You guys come out, go that way. Head nice, look at me, look at me, look at me. <laughs> you don't like me, man. <laughs> good, get the eyes up, get them up. Look at the camera, good, 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 good. Oh man, it looks beautiful. Straight out, straight through, straight through. Head nice. Keep them up, good, good, good. See how you straightened up? That's because you're going too slow. But you worked it out, man. I like it. Keep it loaded, head and eyes, look up. Head and eyes, look up. All right. All right, looking good. All 
All right, you're doing it again, D. Come here, D. You're reckless, D. Come around here. Come around here. What happened? Why you got the hazard lights on? D, remember, when you come out of here, when you come out of the turn, you should be straight. Yeah. You're doing this. But go that way, yeah. All right. You turn, baby. All eyes are on you. No pressure. <laughs> Nice. Go ahead. No stop. Go ahead. Next one. Next one. All right. Make sure when you make this turn, your head and your eyes are up. Look at me, as a matter of fact, when you get up there. Head nice. Look at me. Slow down. Slow down. Rear brake. Rear brake. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. There we go. Go ahead, don't stop. Stop. All right, you turn. Head nice, got a little dip there. Good, good, good. You turn. Stop don't stop. Don't stop over here. Just go straight and make the right. Good. Look at my camera. Beautiful, man. Make the right. Beautiful. Man, he's looking so smooth. Those boots. Do. Everything looks smooth about this guy, Stacy. Cool cat right there. All right, you turn. Don't stop. There we go. One fluid motion. I like it. All right, you turn. Don't stop and just make the right turn afterwards. Keep it loaded. Head nice, head nice. All right. Stop over here. There we go. You can park over there. All right. Stop over here. Head nice. Outstanding. All right, remember, we know when we're stopping. Okay, come to a stop over here. Head nice. Slow down, slow down. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good, come to a stop. Excellent, you can park. Come to a stop over here. Keep it, open up the clutch, open up the clutch. Come to a stop. All right, you can park. All right, listen, I have to say, you look as smooth as it, everything about you looks smooth. The boots, the jeans, the motorcycle, the turns. Oh man, I'm glad you're recording this. Go ahead, man. Come to a stop. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Park. Beautiful. Everything. His throttle is steady. His, he commits to the lean right away. Just beautiful. All right. Come to a stop over here. 
Good, 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 good. Keep it lean like that, baby. Outstanding. You can park. All right. Come to a stop. All right, easy on that rear brake. All right, you can park. You going again? I ain't got nothing to say. Do what you want to do, man. Beautiful. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number seven, figure eight, which is going to be right here. I just got to change some cones around. Improvising, baby. All right, listen, guys, that was beautiful. It really was. I told Stacy, I don't know what the hell, I think Stacy's sandbagging too. I told Peter, and now I'm telling Stacy, they're sandbagging. Like, if we were betting money, we would have lost. Just outstanding. And I don't know if you guys noticed this, but like when Stacy goes into this U turn, first of all, he's committing right away. No weight. A lot of, sometimes if you guys go in the U turn, if you just gradually go like this, you're losing space. As soon as he turns his head and his eyes, committing to the lean right away right if you commit to the lean right away it's going to tighten the turn but more importantly his throttle is steady the whole u-turn right p2 it's steady the whole u-turn d uh, so that's it helps because if your bike's doing this nobody wants to feel that in the middle of a turn right okay exercise number seven the figure eight the beauty of this is it's the same width as what we just did the only difference is now we're gonna do some transitions. So if you gotta walk with me so you can hear me, walk with me. This is the entrance. Now usually, I have people come in the entrance, they do a figure eight, they do another figure eight, and they go out that way. Clearly we're not doing that today. So you're gonna come in, I'm gonna demonstrate it, and you're gonna make a figure eight, and then you're gonna do another figure eight, then you're gonna come straight, go straight back out the way you came in, all right? When you come in here, I'm gonna be standing over here. This way I want you to come. Head and eyes, handlebars. Same rules as the U-turn because all we're doing is making U-turns here. Head and eyes, I want you to look at that green cone. I, ideally, I'd like you to look at this one, but this is not the exorcist. So we're gonna do it in stages. Look at that green cone, head and eyes. Use all of the space that you need. I don't say have because we all need different space. So if you need all of this space, use it. Because if you don't, whatever you give up here, you got to make it up down there. Now, if your right turns are better than your left, that's probably not going to be a problem. But why give it away? Head and eyes, I'm looking at that green cone and I'm holding it. I'm holding it. When I get to 12 o'clock, now I'm looking at that green cone because that's where I want to go. And I'm holding it. I'm using all my space. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition, head and eyes. Look at that green cone. Use all the space that you have. Hold it, hold it. When I get to 12 o'clock, I'm looking there. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't come out here, because we're not going to the corners, we're going to the sides. Fat figure eight, hold it, hold it. Head and eyes, look at that green cone. And then we're gonna go out. Now, does anybody think they're gonna have a problem with this? If you think you're gonna have a problem with this, instead of worrying about the second turn, when you come in to make the first turn, hold it, 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 hold it. When you get right here, just stop. The goal is for you to be on this side of this green cone. If you're on this side of the green cone, you know you made a very good left U-turn and it's setting you up for that perfectly. If you're over here, you might wanna work on it more. But it's not a big deal because if your rights are better than your lefts, the more you lean the motorcycle, this is not a problem at all, right? If that's something you want to do, I'm giving that to you as an option. Any questions? All right, let me demonstrate it for you. All the way over here. Head nice. Hold it. Head nice. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Use all the space that you have. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. go 
go straight out. I only did it really tight because I want to show you nothing changed as far as my rate, my RPM range. Motorcycle still sounded the same because make no mistake about it. If I say to you, you don't need speed, you just need power. That's the example of it. It doesn't matter how much I lean this motorcycle within its limits. As long as I keep steady power to the rear wheel, sufficient power, and I'm not going too slow, I'm fine. So here's an example of that. I just need power. Straighten out. And Pete, I meant to give you your props. I forgot what we were doing, what exercise we were doing, but I think it was, it was exercise number four. Yeah, it was. He was making the right turns. His handlebars were turned. I heard his throttle was up, and his throttle was up. I saw him straighten out, and as soon as he straightened his handlebars, his throttle went down. He's staying in the friction zone. That's what's keeping him up. The power of the rear wheel and the rear brake together stabilizes the motorcycle so you don't need speed right this is why that's why you can do this is is exercise number three when I stop the motorcycle I'm trying to stop it and when it's stopped if I feel like I'm gonna fall I just open up the clutch so it's exercise number three all right so once we get all of these things together and we can actually because we again intellectually yeah that makes sense Rob but get your you got to get the muscles to actually do what the hell your brain wants it to do any questions all right D He's always going to give me something extra. Nice. Nice, Pete. Straight out. Straight out. Straight out. Come on. All right. And nice. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Nice, hold it, head and eyes, look at me. Hold it, hold it, hold it, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Transition. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Head and eyes, look at me, look at me, look at me. Head and eyes, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Head and eyes, good, good, good. All right, look at the exit over here, you're going out. Good, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh man, that was like a perfect run, man. <laughs> Holy shit, that was perfect. Man. That's because you saw, I got it. Yeah. You, you saw the end. I was like, all right, this is it. I saw that and then it's like, uh, now lit up my, I know what it is, I'll refocus and come back in. I was like, that, that, I lost it. Yeah, we'll get it next time. That was excellent, man. Excellent. Head and eyes. Hold it. Look at me. Come to me. Come to me. Come on. Come on. Whoa, look at that. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right. 
start over. Gold wing. Gold wing. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see him. Go ahead. Come on, Stacy. You know your place, gold wing. <laughs> Good. Good, good. Come to me. Come on, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Transition. You're good, you're good, you're good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. You're good, you're good. There we go. Woo! Keep it loaded. Come to me. Had a nice. Come on, come on. Transition. Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Had a nice. Had a nice. That throttle's low. Bring me, give me a little more. Give me a little more preload. Low. Keep it loaded. Head nice, look at me. Look at me, come to me, come to me, come to me. All right, look at the exit. Head and eyes. Look at the exit. Go for it. Let's go, Gold Wing. I didn't even know I was running. I can't hear it. <laughs> All right, you turn real early, man, really early. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Head nice. Nice and easy on that rear brake. Just drag it. Don't punch at it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Don't go to the corner. You're making it tighter for yourself. But you're good. Hold it. Hold it. Speed. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep it loaded. Open the clutch up. Open it up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look at me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Yeah, you ain't making that next turn because you're ripping yourself off, man. The first turn, you, you made it, it's good, but you gave up this much space. You turned here. So not going over through the wall? And you didn't come all the way over there either. Okay. Just use all the space you got, that way you're good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. But yeah, you're good, man. You right. made the first one nice. Oh, one more thing. When you're leaning, you're leaning with your motorcycle. Go the other That's way. how we ride at speed. But when you're slow riding, you want to counterbalance. Okay. See if that helps you. It's not necessary, but yeah. No, no, somebody else is gonna go. Yeah, just go to the right. All right, sandbagger, let's do it. Sandbagging. Kickstand, kickstand. Kickstand, kickstand, kickstand. 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 Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Transition. Shut it off. Shut it off. Shut it off. Shut it off. All right. Yeah, you always want to shut it off before you start getting off of it. Yeah. I know you're staying in here, so I don't have to go over there. You be all right, D. You be okay. <laughs> I don't know what the hell D was doing right there. Pete, stop. Come back in, but when you come back in, don't pass this white line. You don't need to go all the way over there. Okay. See what I mean? Just stay inside this rectangle. Right, come yeah, right come back right back in. There you go. There we go. Keep it loaded. <laughs> kickstand, kickstand, kickstand. All right, head nice. Come to me, come to me. Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition.
Head nice. Look at me. Come to me. Keep it loaded. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Have that. Come to me. Head nice. See, it's tighter over there because he, he turned earlier. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Look at the exit. This is it, baby. This is it. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Good. Keep it loaded. Head nice. Head nice. Look at me. <laughs> you knocking down my cones over there? Good, good, good. Keep it loaded, baby. We want, we want that transition to be one smooth turn. Good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Good. Keep it loaded. Throttle's too low. Good. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. 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 Transition. Look at the exit. Look at the exit. You're good. You're good. Come on, go wing. Use all the space you need. Hold it. Still gave up a lot of space. Hold it, hold it. Nice and easy. Hold it, hold it. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Head and eyes. Good. Look at me. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Head and eyes. Come to me. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Look at the exit. Look at the exit. This is it, Go Wing. This is it, Go Wing. Woo! Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. You could have went around again, it's fine. Go ahead, start from there. Go around again. I didn't say go out. <laughs> come back in, come back in. All the way. Come on. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Come to me, head and eyes. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Good, keep it loaded, just like that. Hold it. Head and eyes. Look at me. Come to me. Hold it, hold it. Transition. Turn it. Head and eyes, head and eyes. You're good, you're good, you're good. Keep it loaded, baby. Throttle's too low. Come on, come on. Turn those handlebars. Hold it, head and eyes, head and eyes. Hey, too far over. D, last time, last time. Nice, D. All right, look at, oh, you're doing your own thing. All right. Woo! Nice, Pete. Nice. Oh, he held that one really nice. All right, look at the exit. Woo! Like butter, baby. Like butter.
Good. That a nice. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Good, 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 good. Had a nice, had a nice. Had a nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Look at the exit. That's what I'm talking about, baby. See, if he had a gold wing, he wouldn't need help backing up. <laughs> Good, use all the space, hold it. Head nice, look at me. Look at me, come to me, come to me. So every time I tell you look at me, that's it, you lose it. <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying it. Right on left, left on right. Right hand on it, yep. Put your feet, okay, you got it. Very nice, oh, he's going for the rectangle. Hold it, hold it. I'm talking about you're good baby you're golden keep it loaded good keep it loaded look at the exit here we go baby go go wing Very early. But he leaves enough where he can make it, he's fine. Keep it, hold it, hold it. Come on, turn it, baby. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Trust and believe, head nice. Keep it loaded. Look at the exit, keep it loaded, baby. Head nice, look at that exit. Gotta make it interesting. Get that throttle up, get that throttle up. Good, keep it right there. Keep it loaded. Head nice, look at me. Keep it loaded, baby. Go around again, go around again. Good, good, good. Keep going. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Head nice, head nice, head nice. Transition. Keep it low, keep the throttle loaded. Easy on that rear brake. Head nice, good, 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 good. Transition. Keep it loaded. Head nice, head nice. Keep it up, turn, turn. All right, look at the exit. Head nice, look at the exit. There we go, baby. And a throttle blip. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to exercise number eight, offset double serpentine. But that's why when longer you, so it's funny you used to say that. You say when you feel it leaning, it feels scary. The fear is the feeling of falling. So the feeling of falling never goes away. But how you react to it, that's what's gonna change. You're gonna do that. Right, what you did. Man, we had some trust and believe moments in there if I ever saw them. Oh man, that was beautiful, it was beautiful to watch. I thought you were gonna, I thought Stacy was like, all right, that's it, I'm out. <laughs> he stayed in it, trust and believe, love it. All right, any questions on the figure eight? All right, you guys rocked that, you did great. Moving on to exercise number eight, this is the offset double serpentine. So now, usually I have seven gates, but I don't have the space for it, so I got four gates. So again, we're talking about 
leaning the motorcycle, transition. So that whole hold it, hold it, you heard me yelling at everybody. That's relevant in here too. This is the gate, this is the entrance. That's what the, I forgot to tell you guys, if you see double cones, that's an entrance or an exit. When you guys come in here, you're gonna go through those two cones, these two cones, and then those two cones, that's the exit. Even though I, don't put, I didn't put double cones on it. And then figure your way around and come back so that you can do it again, all right? When you come in here, guys, I don't want you to go straight for the gate. As Soon as you clear these cones, immediately, I want you to come over here. Just like when you were doing your transitions in the figure eight. This is like mini figure eights. Come in, all the way over here, head and eyes. Because I don't want you coming to this gate like this. If you come to this gate like this, unless you're leaning like Pete and like, like D, you're not gonna make this next turn. You're gonna be all the way out here. You don't wanna be past the next gate so that you're going like this. You could do that, but you gotta do that straight up. I don't want you to do that. I want you to be leaning in these turns. So, as soon as you come through here, head and eyes, look where you're going. Hold it. Now you're coming through like this. When you get right here, look at the gate you came from. Hold this turn. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You might want to, no, hold it. When you get right here, head nice. Now you're approaching this the way you should be from a distance, it's like a figure eight. Hold it, hold it. Head nice, look at the gate you came from. Hold it, hold it. Head nice, transition. When you're doing it, all of that's quicker. Make sure when you turn the handlebars, turn them. Don't turn slow. Now, if this is too tight for you, just go around the outside, the green cones, go around them if it's too tight for you. Any questions? Same rules apply. Friction zone, watch your speed, a little bit of rear brake, um, and listen to your throttle. So, so we do two times in a row. Do four gates, come back and do it again. Yeah, and we might even do it after that, we'll see. That's it. Any questions? Then yeah, then you go around, come back here. Any questions? All right, let's do it. Good job. Good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That happens sometimes, you get lost. Okay. Nice. Wow, Stacy trust and believe, boy. He didn't trust and believe on that first one, but that second one, yeah. All right. Head and eyes, head and eyes. He's going straight for the gate. Dip it, baby, dip it. All right, transition, good. All right. Hold it, hold that turn, hold that turn, transition. Hold it, good. And out, baby. Woo! Come to me, come to me. Come on, come on, hold it. 
Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Going right for the gate. Working it out. Ah, wrinkled t-shirt. They're be flying through this. See, they're going fast, going a little fast. Too much speed, too much speed. Slow down. Dip it all the way to the left, all the way to the left. Good, transition. Good, come to me, come to me, come to me. Transition. Hold that turn, hold it, hold it. Nice. Keep it loaded. There we go. All right, looking good, baby, looking good. That's nice, that first dip is nice, it's so important. See, because it's the Cadillac of motorcycles, you gotta lay it down nicely, like an old man in the tub. <laughs> Nice and gently. That first gear just does not work for I thought we already established the fact that we're not using first gear anymore. Sometimes you think like No, you once you said yeah, it's better, that was it, man. Second gear. Second gear, baby. Alright, when you come through, when you come through this gate, you should be turning already. Don't go straight and turn because you can, I want you to come to where I am. That's what you're doing, wide turns. Okay. Keep it loaded. Head nice, come on. Come on, come on. Transition. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Turn it, baby. You're turning slow. Come on, baby. There we go. Last time, D, last time. Woo! Little slower, a little slower. Hold it, baby. Hold it, hold it. Transition. Nice. All right, last time, baby. Make it count. Second gear, baby. You didn't hold that first turn, but you're good. Lead it, baby, lead it. Trust and believe. Good. Good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded.
Keep it loaded. Beautiful. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number nine, the abominable snowman. All right, so I know this looks confusing. And, you know, it's, it's going to look confusing because I don't have it all coned in. Because I want you to feel confinement but not claustrophobic. All right, so there's, a, there's ways to escape in case you don't want to hit a cone. This is exercise number nine, the abominable snowman. Before I even get into this, any questions on the offset double serpentine? You guys did great. And again, if we came out here and just went right to the offset double serpentine, wouldn't have looked that good, right? All of this stuff builds up. So again, first thing we did when we came out here, you have to do it. I don't care what kind of motorcycle you ride, how long you've been riding, you have to start and you have to stop. So if something you always have to do, shouldn't we be like really good at it, right? We should be confident in it. All right. All right. That's the bread and butter. The abominable snowman. I like this exercise because there's something in here for everybody. Four circles, 27 feet, 25 feet, 22 feet, 18 feet. Now again, a circle is tighter than a box. So just because you can make an 18 foot turn in a box, I think you can still do it in a circle. Just realize it's tighter. All that means is you need to place your wheels in the proper place, right? And you can't dilly dally on committing to the lean. As soon as you get in there, you gotta lean it. But with that being said, as I always say, not necessary. If you want to challenge yourself and go for it, of course, go for it. All right. So you said your rights are better, right? Okay. So if you come in here and make, uh, if you start out with a right U-turn, then the tighter third, the 22 foot will be a right U-turn. So it's probably best for you to start right. So you end right. If you're going up to the 18 foot box, what's your, what's your right or left? Probably left. Okay, so then you need to start right. Okay? All right. Now, this only matters if the, if the circle's tight for you. When you come in here, don't rip yourself off. So some of you guys were ripping yourself, on, ripping yourself off in the U-turn and figure eight, same box. Same thing here. Whatever you give up, you got to make up for it. So when you, if you're going to make a right turn, for example, when you come in here, don't start your turn right here. Not going to happen. Put your wheel right here. So you're past this cone. And then I want you to hug this. Don't, don't start committing right there. Hug this. When you get here, commit. 27 feet is big for people that are doing really tight turns. You don't need to do that. So if you're going to start early here, don't do that down there. Okay? Same thing if you're making a left turn first. Bring your wheel. Somebody hit my cone. Look at this. So this is 27.5 feet. I got to make it 27 again. Okay. If you're making a left turn first, put your wheel right here. And then hug these two cones. And then commit. All right? All that hold it, hold it, hold it stuff you heard me saying, that's all we're doing in here. Get in here, hold it. Now, if all you want to do is make a 27 foot turn, go around once. We don't have a lot of room to go back out, so we can't line up here because people are going to be exiting here. So we'll line up like right over there. So we ride, do it. This is your entrance and your exit. Yes, this is your entrance and your exit. Maybe I should. Just yeah, wherever you want to exit is fine. For me, watching you guys, we're, we're not going fast, so this is plenty of room for you to make a right turn. We're always practicing, but whatever you want to do, if you want to make, if you're only going to do the first two circles, or around here, go into the next one, and then go back out. You're always exiting here, and so on and so forth. Any questions? Remember, hold it, hold it. Stacy, your head and your eyes are excellent, man. You guys see Stacy when he's turning, he's like, now sometimes his eyes, his eyes are looking yeah, down. My head's good. My but his head's good. <laughs> All right, let me run through it. Two cones, commit.
get the idea. Any questions? Alright guys, Nick says number nine, abominable snowman. D say he's been practicing that the top of that snowman. Good wheel, ah, uh, he had to, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> D is uh going too fast. Have Pete start that over. No, oh, there we go. Pick up where you left off. Very early on that turn. All the way over, all the way over. Lean it, lean it, lean it. Open the clutch, open the clutch, baby. Woo, you had it, baby, just had to lean it. Going to the right, coming in there is hard. I saw, I saw you doing it. I like that, man. It's hard for somebody else, not you. So like, even the speed right there, Pete's going, you know, he's going fast. So that's, that's wider than it has to be. Good, keep it loaded. Easy on that rear brake. Good, head and eyes. Where you going? Where you going? Stay in the circle, stay in the circle. Go ahead, move, you're on the cone. Go ahead, pick up right from there. Good. Head and eyes. Look over your shoulder. Good. Good. Keep looking over. There we go. All the way over. All the way over. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Nice. Started that turn early. Keep it loaded. All right. Yeah, you started that turn early. Good. Keep it loaded. Good. Hug him. Lean it. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good. 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 Got to try it. You got to try it. Huh? No. That was excellent. That was excellent. Go.
Come on, come on, you're good. Good, good, good. Hug him, hug him. All right, commit, commit, lean. Come on, come on, come on. All right, lean it, lean it, lean it. So when he goes to lean, he pops that clutch and it jolts him forward. All right, here comes D. D's coming to the top of the circle. Let's check his speed. Because if his speed is too high, yeah, this turn. Oh, he already messed up. He's going too fast. Got to slow down, D. Like right here. I know it's a wide turn, so it doesn't matter. Right here, very early, but not a big deal because it's a big turn for him. Early there, too. Early. All right, D. So two things. One, you're this far off of this cone, right? You need to put your wheel here. Okay. You need to hug these two cones. And then when you get up here, you pick up speed. This is taking you out wide. Okay. Just keep, you got to slow down a little bit. Okay? Yep. But, I mean, definitely, you don't have the room to give. Put your tire here. Hug these two cones. And then commit. You don't have to speed. Just keep power. And you're good. All right, got Pete here. Trust and believe, Pete. Very early on that turn, but he's good. Right, very good. He's just gonna do the first three, and I agree. Nice and smooth. Woo! All right, we got Peter. We have Pete, now we got Peter. Good, good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. All right, lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it. A lot of brake, a lot of heavy braking, but you can't lean it if you're going too slow. But he's good, good, good. There we go. Good job. Good job, Peter. Good. Lean it, lean it. All right, lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it. Lean it, lean it. You can continue in here if you want or you can roll out. Okay. Trust and believe, baby, trust and believe.
Not bad at all, brother. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him navigating that turn coming in. That sharp left turn, holding it, holding it, going all the way around. Going back in. I like it, man. He's going for it. He started that turn. I didn't know he was going up there. Otherwise, I would have been up there. Very early, Peter, very early. All right, give me a little more speed, a little more speed, going too slow. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Last time, last time. Let me, get up. Let me go up here to this 18-foot circle because I know that's where D is coming. What's he doing? Left turn. All right, so he's going right. See, he's got to slow down. Good. All right, lean it, lean it, lean it. There we go. He is being dramatic, saving the best for last. <laughs> he got his feet flying around. He's comfortable on the motorcycle, and it shows. Woo! <laughs> you got it, man. Take a break. Keep it loaded. I thought you were done up here. I would have been over there. Oh. Uh, yeah. All right, take a break. Head nice, head nice. Head and I lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it. Reload it. Same goddamn spot. <laughs> I got it. The good thing is, at least I know what I'm doing. Yeah. And it's just a matter of getting past it when it stays. Absolutely. Good. All you're doing is pulling in the clutch. Right.
God, too early, too early. It's been a couple of close times, but you just made that turn too early. Opposite. No, 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 no. Yep. Mm -hmm. It even looks good going down. Nice. Keep it loaded, head nice. Need speed, that's why you're falling. You're going too slow. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded! Throttle's too low! The throttle's too low and you're killing that rear brake. Yeah. You gotta keep that throttle up and your speed's too low. Right. So this is why you're kinda like straight up and if you ever go to lean, it's like, oh crap! It's cause you're going so slow. Alright, All right, take a break. Unless you wanna go back through. No, I'm Just stay at one speed, keep it loaded. Lean it. Good, good. So you keep slowing down and straightening up. Good, nice and easy, just drag it. You don't have to punch at it. Oh, what are you apologizing for? Hitting the cone? That's what we do. All right, take a break. I think I just gotta work more on the controlling of it. Gotcha. So it can be done, I'm, I'm just me. Okay, okay. That's good. He said it's him. It's not the motorcycle. Accountability. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the bonus exercise. I'm pretty sure they're all going to try it at least once. All right, guys, welcome to the maze. And this is the most confusing maze I've ever had because there's so much stuff close to it. So that's why I use color cones, the green cones. So all you're doing is going around the green cones. If you start on this side, you're making two rights and one left. If you start over here, you're making two lefts and one right. Around the green cone. Around the green cone, around the green cone, and you're out. So the first time you do it, start on this side. And the second time you do it, after everybody goes, start on that side. Again, nothing's different. These are 18 foot U-turns. That's all they are. If you haven't made an 18 foot U-turn today, I'm not gonna say don't waste your time because you'd be surprised. Some people are, I've had people not be able to do anything for some reason, or especially and follow the leader. For some reason, and follow the leader, Somebody that's not been doing something all day. I don't know what it is. We all learn different. Any questions? Uh, what's the length? 40 feet? 36 feet. So it's shorter. I usually do 40 feet. I had to conserve space. And when I was out in um, Ohio, their lanes, those parking space bays, were only 36 feet long. So that's my new shortest length, 36 feet. Anything else? Well, you know what? Because of the shorter bay, just treat it like the offset double serpentine. 
you know, as soon as you get out of one turn, go into the next one. That's all. Just hold it until you're going to do the next one, just like the offset double serpentine. And because it's 36 feet long, essentially that's what you're doing anyway. Any questions? Yeah, the more space you have is better, but you don't really need it. It's going to make it easier, but you don't need it. Once you make that turn, just keep, hold it, hold it, go all the way to the side. So again, when you're doing it, your, ne your handlebars are never really straight. Like when you're first going in, once you make that first turn, that's all you're doing. My problem is the transition. Exactly. So sometimes it's easier to turn the handlebars when you pull the clutch in. Sometimes that makes it easier. Um, me, I just stay in the friction zone the whole time, but every now and then, all you're doing is squeezing it in momentarily to make that turn. All right, I'm not trying to complicate things, but it does help. All right, stop talking yourself out of this, Pete. Let's just do it. <laughs> Ain't nothing to it but to do it. No, he's just doing one way. And then when he goes back again. Just one way, just one way, D. That's why I don't listen to y'all. That's why I don't listen to y'all. Oh, I'm right about this, I'm right about that. I know what I've been looking at all day. Beautiful. That nice. You gotta lean. You can not, woo, almost baby. Commit to the lean. This thing ain't even running. You're not going? You're not going? No pressure. No pressure. Yeah, why not? All right, we're keeping the reel out here today. Sandbagging, sandbagging. Easy like Sunday morning. Come on, Pete. That nice. Look, look at that. Well within. Now he's shaking his head, but this is it's a bonus exercise. So the fact that he's even trying it shows what he is confidence wise. <laughs> That's right. It's up to you. Yeah, you just got to lean, that's all. Too much speed, dude. Too much speed.
There we go. Woo! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Lean it, baby, lean it, lean it, lean it, lean it. Woo! That's good, man. Hey, go wing, get out of the lane if you ain't going. <laughs> no, you're good, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. Yeah, get, what's up to you, man? Lean it, baby! Woo! Trust and believe! All right. <laughs> Nobody likes to show off? <laughs> I always say, why is using the proper technique showing off? Head and eyes, Pete! Head and eyes! All the way over! That ain't happening! You ripped yourself off! He was good, but he ripped himself off. Alright, last time, no pressure, man. Make it happen. Yeah, you're not making that straight up. You gotta lean. You, you just going out on that. No, you exactly. And you just ripped yourself off. You started that, started that second turn too early. That's the only reason. All right, let's do it, baby. There we go. Good. All the way over. All the way over. Good. There we go. Head nice. Woo! Oh, burst of speed. Rear brake. All right, guys, FTL time. Follow the leader. Let's do it. All right, it's FTL time. Follow the leader. Who's participating? Okay, here are the rules. It's very simple. Please pay attention. A lot of people have been eliminated, not because of skill, but because they can't follow instructions. Follow the leader means do as I do. So, if you hit a cone, you're out. See this green dot on the ground? Put your motorcycle right there. We're gonna do one circle around you. We're gonna honk our horns. That's us saying bye-bye to you. You're out. If you hit a cone, that's where you go. If you put a foot down, that's where you go. If you grab the front brake, you owe me 10 push-ups and you're out. Right here in the middle, right? Um, if you do something other than what I do, for instance, when we're on the right and left turns from a stop, if I'm right in the middle, and you say, screw you, Robert, I'm gonna do it from here. You're out, pull right here. Keep in mind, we work on the honor system. If I don't catch you here, I'll catch you when I'm editing this and blow you up. So just kindly, if you see you didn't do it, get out, all right? Um, I think that's about it. Now, when I'm gonna make a turn, if I stop and then make the turn and you just roll right through it, you're out, all right? At a certain point, I'm gonna be trying to go slow enough to get you to put your foot down. If you put your foot down, then you're out, the person behind you is not out. We'll just get you out and we'll, we'll do that again, okay? Are there any questions? All right, let me get set up.
slow race. Here are the rules. I'm gonna have my hand up in the air. I'm gonna say on your mark, get set. When my hand goes down, that's gonna be go. If I put my hand down and your foot is still on the ground, just stay there, you're out. As you're going into this, as you're going forward, if you put your foot down, you're out. The winner of this race is the loser. Whoever's rear wheel passes the, the, these cones, the big cones, that is the winner. All right, it's not your front wheel, it's your rear wheel. Keep your head and your eyes straight ahead. Any questions? Preloaders and VI preloaders, start your engines. On your mark, get set, go, you're out. instead of looking straight. Pete, did you enjoy yourself? Absolutely. Absolutely. You remember what you rated yourself when you came out? I rated myself a three. Here, hold that. Any change in that number? Yes. I'm leaning towards four and a half, but I'm gonna say five. All right. Five, do you I, agree? I don't agree, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> Fives don't do the maze. Fives don't do, Never mind. Pleasure yeah, but, to meet you, yeah, man. But five versus an eight. Forget about my I got number. A ways to go. Forget about my number, but you, <laughs> it's a five with an. I can respectfully disagree, right? I think it's too low, but that's just me. Well, I appreciate you coming out. Oh, absolutely, absolutely brother. Absolutely, I enjoyed it. Absolutely, I'll be back here. I already know it. Good. I've, I've, I've been talking to Trey over there and some other people. All right. Back to my stuff again. Did you enjoy yourself? I had a great time. Enjoyed myself much. How does it feel about winning the slow race twice? That last one was just twice. phenomenal. Twice. He, and actually it was a Honda against a Honda. Oh, no, that's not close a Honda. Enough, close enough, close enough. How is it? Yeah. Wow. But he's got a Honda shirt on, so. Close enough. Thank um, you, we in the family. You enjoyed yourself? Enjoyed myself. Great time. You remember what you rated yourself when you came out? Uh, two on a good day, three maybe. Any change in that number? Uh, yeah. Three, four, definitely five. I love it because. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I say any change in that number? Yeah, three, four, four definitely maybe. five. I'm saying what as the far as like <laughs> the potential, it shows me how much potential. Yeah and how much more practice I need and mm -hmm. how much more practice that you can do to get better. Absolutely. And practice and technique is good, so I'm, I'm happy. And I saw the improvement. Pleasure to meet yeah. you, brother. Likewise. Thank All you. right. Did you enjoy yourself? Absolutely. You remember what you rated yourself when you came? Two. Any change in that number? Three, three and a half. You think that's fair? <laughs> yeah, I, well, the, and the key is I definitely saw the improvement right. with you, and we'll be at it again tomorrow. Absolutely. All right, brother. See you tomorrow. All right, man. <laughs> oh, this guy right here. Even the hat, I'm telling you, everything about this guy is just smooth. You remember what, I'm sorry, did you enjoy yourself? I did, absolutely. Good. Well worth it. Well you worth surprised it. me a lot, man. I surprised I mean, myself. Really? I okay. did, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, you remember what you rated yourself when you came out? Two, two and a half. Any change in that number? Yeah, I think so. I know so. I, I think I'm maybe a, maybe a solid four. Okay, okay, good, good. <laughs> I'm thinking, I still think that's a little low, but that's okay. fine. Okay. Pleasure meeting you, brother. practice. Yeah, we yeah. all do. We and all do. Hopefully, I'm going to see you in a couple weeks. Good. So. That's what I like to hear. Jay, did you enjoy yourself? Yes. You remember what you rated yourself when you came out? A one. Any change in that? No. Okay. Need good. more work. Okay, and you know, you kind of have an idea what you want to work on. Yes. That's what this is all about. Pleasure meeting you, man. Same here. All right, Thank brother. You. Did you have fun? Absolutely. Good, good. You remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? Uh, three or four. Any change in that? 
jury's out on that one. Wait till the next class. Okay. I got a handlebar change to make, so I have a better reach, and uh, we'll go go from there. All right, brother. Thanks. Good to meet you, man. Always Did you best to last? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself? Oh, tremendously. Yes. Good, good. Um, you remember what you rated yourself when you first came? Yeah, I rated myself a five. I think I was overreaching. Okay. Any, so what do you rate yourself now? I think I think I'm I'm from there. Today, mm -hmm. maybe some more practice. I'll definitely be a five, but I'm okay. not quite there. Okay, good. Pleasure to meet you, man. It's been a pleasure meeting you. And here. keep it loaded. And come back. I will be back, North man. <laughs> yeah, I will be back here. All right, awesome. Did you enjoy yourself? Absolutely, man, always. Okay, um, what did you rate yourself when you first came out here? Uh, at the beginning of the morning, I rate myself at five. Any change in that number? Mm, uh, six and a half, how about that? Bye-bye, D. <laughs> I'm done talking to you, man. This is ridiculous with the sandbagging. I mean, six and a half. You guys... My plan is, if I can... Do every exercise with one pass, no failure. I will rate myself at seven because you are eight. So that, that's about logical, my number. right? But I've also seen what you, I've also seen you ride my road king. So this is not about your. This is really not about your level of skill. It's about the limitations of your motorcycle. Mm -hmm. It's simple as that. So, dude, dude, get a road king. That's all I'm gonna say. Get a road king. I'm look at me spending somebody else's money. All right, that's it. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to do it for practice session number 58. Always good, and we did what we could based on what we had. Um, I want to thank the preloaders and VR preloaders for coming out here. And, of course, after the cameras went off, we, you know, we hang around, we talk, and, you know, stuff like that. So I always appreciate that. So we can get some behind-the-scenes stuff. I want to shout out um, Pete's wife, who came out here with a chair and pretty much hung out here. <laughs> The whole practice session, right? That's always huge, guys. If, I, if our significant others will support us, come out and hang out with us practicing, whether they're interested or not. I'm not going to say she was staring at them the whole time, but she's out here, and that's all that matters. So just outstanding. I, I, I don't even know what else to say about that, guys. But anyway, guys, listen, if you got anything out of this video, please hit the like button, subscribe. That definitely helps me out. Share these videos. And hit that notification bell switch it to all so you are always notified whenever a new practice session or any of my videos come out spend more time being thankful for the things that you have guys and less time complaining about the things that you don't and as i always say to you guys seat time does not equal practice time and if you have time to ride you have time to practice until next time